Good afternoon, everybody. It is I, Hamster of Wrath, back with some more Stellaris, where I will probably not know what I'm doing, uh, just because I'm me. But this is fine. This is half the fun. Um, we already have some lovely people in chat already. We have the Roach Mogul and PM Collector Boy. I hope you're all doing very well. Yes, lamenting the whole daylight savings thing. Uh, don't worry, I'll be, I'll be joining you soon. And at which point I then have to make sure I get, um... All my, all my scheduling and all my countdowns right, because uh, a couple of times we've had people go, Wait, when not you starting an hour earlier? Wait, why are you starting now? And I'm kind of like, I can't help it. Daylight savings is stupid. But I hope we're all doing very well. Uh, as you may notice, uh, we've had some slight adjustments to the uh, interface. So uh, I've got a couple of mods in. Uh, you can see just above the pause bar at the bottom there. Also, there's a nice new pause bar. Look at that. Um, you've got the commands to see the mods we've got, and the commands to see the DLC. Uh, which chat can now use, because uh, I got sick of doing it myself, but I've, I've put a cooldown on it, because uh, people can be cheeky. But yes, uh, we don't have to scroll forever to find things now. We've got them in this nice, kind of, relatively compressed uh, thing here, so this is good. Um... Uh, oh no, it's STL mods. Those are my, that'll be my Stellaris mods. <laughs> uh, did I put ST? Hey Shepard, how's it going? Let me double check I didn't put the right command there. That's STL DLC and STL mods. There you go. Yeah, that's actually my Stellaris, uh, um, uh, my Stellaris, uh, mods. Wow, okay. I just did a a, 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 a screen preview on, on and I was like, why can't I unpause it? Because I was looking at the screen preview. We are, I, you know, I had a cup of tea just before I started. It appears to have had the opposite effect, which kind of sucks, but that's okay. No one will notice, I'm sure. Um, I did do a little bit of admin uh, earlier on this morning, because um, that's not super interesting to watch. And I nearly ran out of material, uh, minerals, so uh, I had to buy some more minerals while selling other things, so everything's great. But uh, yes, so uh, do bear with me, because this UI is just a little bit different now. Uh, I like it, it's just now I don't know where a lot of things are. Hey, Queen Lost, how's it going? Sell your soul. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I'll get an awful lot of money for selling my soul, to be honest. I don't know how much it's worth on the open market, uh, to be brutally honest. But we'll see. <laughs> Uh, okay, yes, yeah, so it's the thing I did like. Where were we? Um, yeah, so things things are kind of like a little less... They, they've compressed the resources here, so that's quite handy. You've got everything down the right-hand side here with the, the fleets and stuff are easy to find now, which is which is good. Um, I like that. Uh, there was something I was flicking around with earlier and I liked it. I think it was something to do with the... Was it the planets and sectors and stuff? Oh yeah, see this is this is this is a little bit different. We can we can manage the sector, so that's good. That's that's pretty awesome. Might have to look at that later. Um yeah, but everything old is now new again because uh, I don't know where half my buttons are. <laughs> oh that was it. Hang on, let me find a colony. Um I show you what I mean. So here we click oh that's not a colony. Uh that's not a colony either. Uh that's a colony. Here we go. Uh, yeah, so here we are. That's This is the new colony screen. And the thing I quite like is that you have uh, planetary features like unblockers are listed straight under Terraform. That's quite handy. Uh, your build queue's there. You've got your buildings there. Overall, I just I just like a bit of a... It's a bit of a tweak, so I'm quite uh, liking it. Right, so there's lots of things going on. Um, we're at war. No, we're not at war. I just think everyone hates us. I mean, the Reavers are at war with everybody, but we're just letting them chew through the exterminators for now. Um, the Rakthalorans love us. And all in sundry. So what have we got here? Timed project. Okay, I think I'm already hoovering that up. I think I've got industrial science ships zipping around in there. Or I forgot. One of the two. Uh, no, looks like I forgot. Never mind. That's fine. It's probably not important. Hey, CT Gaming, how's it going? Oh, welcome, welcome. Uh, resource storage full. Minor artifacts. Hmm. What can we do here? Well, we can't celebrate diversity because I think we already have that. Uh, museum exhibits is a planetary decision. Inspire people with the wonders of the past. Okay, I wonder if I can do that and then, uh, apply that to... One of my planets is not very happy. 
Uh, I wonder if I can do that. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, Uxblorix is not very happy right now. Where are we? Decisions. So what does this do? Artifact exhibition modifier added for 10 years. Bureaucrat output. I mean... Let's face it, I don't know how bureaucrat output is going to make anyone happier. I, 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 I'm under the impression that bureaucracy is not everyone's favourite pastime, so maybe that's that's just complete nonsense. Who knows? Uh, so can't do much about that. Uh, debris analyze, good. That gives us free stuff. Uh, starbase construction complete. Oh, okay, the starbase uh, screen is very different as well. This is cool. Uh, thank you very much for the follow, Jordan Milley. Welcome, welcome. I hope you're doing very well. Uh, prepare for gibbering insanity, but uh, thank you, thank you very much for the follow. Uh, yeah, actually, I like this. This is all a little bit... It's a little bit more transparent, and all the upgrade buttons are smaller as well, which is great, because the upgrade buttons used to be huge, which was kind of a little OTT. Um, there's other things we can build here, but I'm not worrying about that just right. Right, let's actually unpause and commence the chaos and uh, see what transpires. Is uh, there's, there's a lot going on. I think I was building some more fleets, to be honest. Oh, what's what am I yelled at? Being yelled at now. Foreign Empire claims our system. Ah, I have a funny feeling I know where that is. Uh, Malthula, Malthula. That is is that here? No, that's. Tisra, why are they claiming? Right, where is that? It begins with an M. Uh, <laughs> oh boy. I'd be happy if the American bureaucracy could output faster than taking a fortnight to approve a document. <laughs> oh god, let us not let us not start exchanging governmental woes. Uh, that that way is the uh, the way to madness. Mao. Malthula system. It's got to be down here, isn't it? It's got to be one of the ones I've nobbled. I nobbled earlier. It doesn't help that the borders of uh, our empire and the Terran empire are exactly the same. That makes my brain hurt. There's Moscod. Okay, okay, people have played this game way more than I have. If it doesn't actually tell you where a system is, how do I find the system? <laughs> F. Right. Okay, Shepard. Having had a look at my having had a look at my screen, uh, Steam screen before I started, I am fifty hours in. I didn't realise there's a there's a search option. So thank you very much for that. Still learning. Okay, what was it? How was it spelt? Uh, Mal Malthula. Okay, Malthula. Oh, okay. Really? They want to claim here. Oh. Okay, so this looks like... Oh, they are about to kick off. You know, uh, 200 hours in and found it this afternoon. Okay, I feel better now. I feel a little better. Okay, so uh, I wasn't too concerned about this uh, over here. I have a funny feeling this is a prelude to war. So I think I need to get a big chonk fleet back over there. I've got a couple of chonk fleets. Actually, I'm... okay, this is bad timing. I set all my fleets to upgrade, so this could be very bad. Um, but uh, that's interesting. Construction complete. Oh, okay, it's not taking very long, so that's very good. Oh, wait, no, I have got another fleet there. Oh, wait, are my guys moving? Oh, they're moving to upgrade. Cool. Right, are you guys in the process of upgrading? Yes, you are. Okay, cool. So they don't have to travel far. So how much... Oh, hello. Uh... <laughs> God damn it. Who, who was it who named this planet? Was it Rich Mogul or Tank Hair? I can't remember. But now we have rising unemployment on the urinal. You wouldn't think you'd only be able to fit one person on it. Honestly. Who, who came up with that idea? I don't know. Okay, uh, we may have to go and have a look at that. I think I was actually bu putting buildings on there before. Uh, so where are we? It is... Du -du 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 -du. Wow, I'm really not with it today. I am less with it than I thought I was. There it is. What's wrong with it? Uh, yes, let's do the, the, the increased benefits. That's fine. I've got a bunch of stuff building there. That's fine. That, they should sort themselves out fairly soon. Research right, okay. Complete. How much military power have I got over there? 7,000... 
757, but that's being upgraded. Uh, 4,188, that is not enough. If they decide to come blazing through here, we could have a problem. Um, eventually, this is going to be a problem. Uh, but if the Rekthalorans are going to go ham, we probably need to kick them in the face very hard. What's wrong with your iron? Call the repair man, call a plumber. Yeah. Um, okay, I think we're going to have to wait till some of these get upgraded, unless this has already happened. Oh no, they're still on the move. Okay, let's hope they don't attack us while our stuff is being upgraded. Okay, gravitic sensors. Unlock starbase building listening post. That could be handy. Uh, extending the range of the starbase's sensors. That could be super handy, actually. I may build one of those right on the border with the orcs, I think. I think that might be a good idea. Okay, what do we got? Uh, oh, hang on. Oh, this is new. Okay, apparently it's just picked a... It's randomly picked something I was already researching? I don't remember telling it to do that. That must have been on hold or something. Okay, that's nearly finished. So I might as well just let that ride. I don't know what was going on there. That's a bit weird. Hmm, question if not. Analyze the de de debris in Malthula. Okay, cool. That's given us some extra stuff. Uh, yeah, and what we need to do once these guys are upgraded, I'm going to yeet one of my really big fleets over here. Now, what was that uh, building they were talking about? Uh, let's see if we can build one. What's this? What we got here? Uh, that's a hydroponics bay. Okay, I have a funny feeling we stole this uh, from the orcs. So one, how many defenses have I got here? Zero. That needs to change. Um, I don't think I want a hydroponics bay. How about this listening post thing? Uh, okay, we are exceeding the star base capacity by one, but I don't really care. Uh, honestly, I might swap one of these for like a torpedo battery, maybe even a hangar bay. Uh, Malthusler, 1,000 year old chocolate. <laughs> oh god. If I can remember the tagline to Maltesers, I, I can't remember what it is. But yeah, oh, oh. 1,000 year old Maltesers, no one would want that. Mind you, let's face it, I think like, uh... I think the average McDonald's could probably last a thousand years. If, if someone threw away, like, a McDonald's meal, um, I think archaeologists would probably dig it up um, a thousand years later, and I think there wouldn't be that much wrong with it, to be honest. Uh, hey, Jordan, how's it going? Is this playthrough using any mods or any particular DLC? Uh, if you have a little look at the bottom of the screen, just above the uh, pause bar at the bottom there, I've got two commands, and that will give you the list of the uh, DLC and a list of the mods, because I have a scatterbrain and I often forget. Uh, so uh, if you use those commands at the bottom there, I'll just let you know. Thank you, Shepard. McDonald's food is 90% preservative. Yeah, I think there was. I saw like a a, a, a um, experiment they Shit. did on how long it can actually last for. Um, not a problem, Jordan. And it was like, they, 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 it, it, it took like months to start decomposing. It's just gross. Sorry if you're eating or anything, but there we go. Uh, right, technology completed. This is good. Okay, so new research. Okay, I guess I must have switched research to something else, and then it's defaulted back to that, and then we finished it. I don't know, that's weird. A lighter way to enjoy to chocolate for Maltesers. Oh, okay, I, ca I can't make a good joke about that. I was, trying, I was trying to tie that into an archaeology pun, and I just thought, that's... There's too many layers going on for an arche archaeology pun. Um, so, you know, we'll abandon we'll abandon the bit. Uh, yes, but the mods I'm using are those. Hey, there we go. Uh, so this is my first playthrough, so we haven't got a huge amount of mods. Um, it's just a few quality of life ones that make the uh, overlay look a bit different. Um, okay, what should we do here? Ooh, chemical plants? Nerds, I remember nerds. God. Didn't they have a... Ooh, that looks like a good one. We'll have that one. 
wasn't there a scare with nerds that they had like uh glass ending up in nerds i remember that being a thing at school and they had to do like a mass recall on nerds because people were terrified that kids were eating glass or some crazy stuff we are going back quite a long time bearing in mind this is this is quite a way back Right, uh, oh, I've got an open building slot here. Uh, what would be a good option? Food! These people have no food. <laughs> they also have no food districts either. I'm probably building stuff here. I am building a load of stuff. Nerds are still used on ice cream. Mmm, I'm not sure how I'd feel about that, to be honest. You kind of like. Ice cream's lovely and smooth, and you'd have like a really hard, crunchy bit in the middle of it. I'd be like, mmm. Not sure about that one myself. Right, okay. Actually, I must admit I was a little bit lazy with the uh, mod lists and the, 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 with the mod lists. Really Usually with the mod lists, I do like a spreadsheet document so you can see the links to them. That is something that's... I'll put that on the to-do list. Uh, but I was a bit of a hurry over the weekend, so uh, I, I didn't do that. Right, where's a suitable bit of paper? I'm old school, I use paper. Here we go. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, Solaris. Uh, mod list. And then you can actually have the link straight to the mods and have a, have a look at them rather than having to look them up yourself. Saves a couple of clicks. Right, uh, more debris. That's good. This is the system they don't want us to have, which is funny. Okay, I need to remember to hoover up debris more often because that's actually giving us like really good boosts on um, uh, research and stuff. So that's actually really handy. Oh, this is slightly different as well. Okay. Uh, oh, wow. This is really cool. Okay. Uh, I, I like this UI mod. This is this is really nifty. Um. Research special projects. I mean, yeah, you could just roam around. I don't think there's actually anything for him to do, to be honest, but we'll find something. How does downscale handle Titans? I have no idea. Ships upgraded. Um, as I don't have Titans. I think it only affects ships, like specifically fleets. Uh, I'll show you what it does. So, where are we? So, you know, usually you have, like, uh, uh, a fleet together, and it's like a giant cluster of stuff. Um, actually, okay, this is a terrible example, because if they've got flashing icons over the top of them. Um, what it does is uh, it kind of order the, orders them, so you've got all the dinky ships ordered. So instead of, like, facing five different directions, they're all facing the right, the right direction and stuff, so it's a little bit easier to sort of tell them apart. Uh, do I remember rainbow drops? Uh, puffed rice with colours and sugar coating them. Not off the top of my head. No, don't don't remember those. No. Um, I reckon Titans aren't going to be grouped up anyway. No, I think Titans are like their separate thing. I I don't think it affects Titans. I think it's purely like the the default uh ships. But yeah, I like it. I like it being nice and organised. <laughs> Uh, okay, these guys, it still says they need upgrading. I don't know why. This does baffle me a little bit. Sometimes it's like, these ships are upgraded, and then it's like, oh, they need more upgrading. And I'm like, oh, okay. It says this ship, th this fleet has been fully upgraded, and it clearly hasn't been. It's so strange. Oh, god, have we got people coming through the wormhole to get upgraded? That's a bit weird. You see, now it says it's upgrading again. I don't know what's going on there. Um, I've started using downscale too. I uh, literally, I've I've just uh, started looking into mods. Uh, so this is my first run through. Um, however, for what is going to be effectively season two, we're going to have some player made species put in by a couple of chats uh, chatters. Um, we're probably going to look at some assorted mods and things and and have like a proper sort of customized start. I just I just pushed buttons and went go on this go, so uh, <laughs> I I didn't really know what I was doing. I barely know what I'm doing now, to be honest. Oh, not another faction. The Hamsterian Purity Vanguard. Well, they sound like a bloody bunch of fun people, don't they? 
Curtailing the right. Is this another bunch of loonies I'm going to have to slap down? It is, isn't it? Right, where are we? Hamsterian Purity Guard. Let's have a look, see. Hamsterian Purity Vanguard. Okay, they have 40% approval. That is worrying. Right, what are these what are these guys like here? Flying by the seat of your trousers. Yeah, basically, pretty much. As always. As always. Um okay, so. Oh, so these are like these appear to be our polar opposites. They are xenophobic militarists rather than uh xenophile militarists. So we probably should tell them to go stuff themselves. Because they don't sound like a bunch of fun people. Uh, so let's have a look at this. Let's suppress them. Help, help, I'm being suppressed. There we go. Oh god, it's Reform UK! <laughs> uh, I, 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 I appreciate the joke. Uh, we, we, I, I try to keep politics out of the chat, but I, I get, I appreciate the joke. We, we do, we could, we do generally go light on politics here, because, uh, yeah, reasons. But it's all good. It's all good. Right, how much... Oh, wait, hang on a minute, is this... Did these guys come through the... They did come through the wormhole. I think they came through the wormhole to get upgraded. That actually might work. That's actually where I wanted them, so that's actually pretty good. Uh, okay, are you guys actually upgrading? Or are you just sat there? Nope, currently upgrading. Upgrading ships. No orders. Uh, my, my, my fleet management is terrible, I will tell you this now. Um, xenophobic pacifists are the exact opposite to militant xenophiles. Yeah, all, all right. They, they were half our opposites then. They, they, they were still militaristic, but they were xenophobes, so it was kind of like, eh. Uh, right, somebody got a negative trait there. Uh, is it the person that's in charge of our fleets? I think uh, our invasion fleets. I think it is. Oh, this is different. Okay. Uh, where is it? Commanders? Oh, I like this. I do like the changes here. Military fleet effects. Uh, minus 5% evasion. Minus 5% sublight speed. Minus 2% ship upkeep. That's okay, because that's an invasion fleet. If that was an actual fleet, I'd be upset, but that's fine. That is not a problem. Okay, one of my, one of my planets is still not very happy. Uh, oh, there's, there's some blockers I can get rid of here. Right, I'm doing the use. I'm going back to my bad habits of. Um, oh, no wonder they don't like this place. <laughs> oh, I could improve this planet no end. No wonder everyone is pissed off here. Uh, probably down to the fact I may well have accidentally orbitally bombarded it at some point. We can fix most of these. Uh, do we have the credits to do this? I think we do. So what have we got here? Uh, sprawling slums. Let's get rid of the slums, shall we? They're, they're the cheapest. We'll make a start on the slums. Why are people upset in this planet? Oh, it's covered in slums. The bear. Right, let's have a look at our fleet management here. Okay, uh, everyone's on their way. I don't even know where these people are. Ships upgraded. Okay, good. Ships upgraded. We like. Uh. Ships upgraded. Okay, this is good. Yeah, I don't get it. It says it says upgraded, and then it immediately says, "Oh, we need to upgrade them again." And I'm like, "Make your mind up." This is a tiny fleet of three. I don't know why I've got them flying around. It is Ships anyone's guess. Upgraded. Which sounds like an upgrade all button. Because we're probably going to need all the fleet power we can possibly lay our hands on here. Right, I wonder if there's like a diplomatic thing we can explore here. Probably not. Let's have a chat with them. Let's have a chat with the orcs. Right, where are they? Uh, here we go. Oh yes, they 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 called us rivals, didn't they? I forgot about this. Uh, onto our agents. What agents? There's there's no agents. We are not spying on you currently. Um, no, they just hate us. Okay. Okay, there's not much we can do about that. We're, they, they, they just don't like us. That's fine. We'll just leave that alone. That's a lost cause. Right, what we need to do is make sure that this place is uh, fairly well fortified. Okay, the the, the station is now 17,000 uh, military on its own. 
that's a good start. Right, this is a random invasion fleet. I probably need to take them away from the front lines a little bit, just in case. There we go, that might be an idea. Ships upgraded. Okay, right, all my ships are getting upgraded. This is good. Um... No, they're still going. Okay, is so everyone happy now? Upgraded. No, it's still not working properly. I am baffled to this. Now it says 22 ships will require upgrading. I just, I'm telling everyone to upgrade. Why is everyone not upgrading? Ships upgraded. It's like playing whack-a-mole. Maybe it's like incremental upgrades. Maybe there's, there's, that they can only upgrade one thing at a time or it's one class at a time. Ships upgraded. I've got no idea. Okay, that's good. That's good. Right. Uh, you guys finished yet? Oh, saving the game. Nope, they're still upgrading. Oh, hello. What's this? Uh, archaeological event. Okay. Great! A mausoleum. What's the worst that could happen? Okay, no obvious signs of previous looters. Yeah, I mean, giant alien gravesite. What's the worst that could happen? Zombies. Yeah, quite possibly. Alien zombies. Salians. Asbies. I, I don't know, that sounds vaguely racist. Never mind. Right, okay. I think the station can probably look after itself for a little while, but once this lot are upgraded, we need to go back and sort that out. Right, how is my how is my management going? Oh, this is good. The red is disappearing. This is good. This is what I wanted. Uh, what's this? Ah, oh, the Senate is now in session. Uh, minor... Wait, voting... Minor military sanctions. Oh, I'm accidentally... I'm accidentally abstaining. How am I ab accidentally abstaining to this? Uh, right, what the hell's this? Minor military sanctions. Empires that have been denounced are in... Or are in breach of galactic law have penalties applied to them. One must be true. The Hamsterian Conclave is in breach of galactic law has the denounced modifier. Am I in breach of galactic law? How do I know I'm in breach of galactic law? What the hell? <laughs> uh, so the Jackley are opposing this. Uh, the lo So it's everyone... Okay, I don't think we can win this one. Uh, what am I in breach of? Can I, can I see what I'm in breach of? How do I know when I'm I'm in breach of galactic law? Where is the galactic law? It will say if you are. This is just a vote to make it. When you breach it, you get punished. Oh, okay. Well, how will I how will I know not not to, uh, to how will I know what the law is if I'm <laughs> okay? Um, is it possibly because the Jackley are doing something unpleasant? I don't know. Um. I'm going to oppose it just on general principles. It won't make a difference because uh, the the Rakthalaran's diplo weight is so huge. So when laws will put through, it will say if they make a breach. Oh, okay. Can I call in a favor? I can call in a favor from the opposition. Oh, this is so funny. I can make it closer than it looks. There you go. I actually called in the favor from the people who hate me. That's quite funny. Uh, I think we had like some special skill that enabled us to do that. <gasps> oh my god. Yeah, we're in trouble. The Oh no, those are watch wait, 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 wait. What has happened? The watchers are on the move. What is going on there? Why are the watchers on the move? Ah, uh, why are they in the Rick Thaloran's borders. Oh god, if these guys are somehow teamed up, we are in deep shit. What? How is that possible? Uh. Right, where are the angry bird people? Okay, they've closed borders to everyone. But. Okay, so the 
fire tribes haven't closed their borders to them. That's interesting. I wonder if I open my borders to them, what that would do. Because I'm not, I'm not going to attack them. So where is it they're going, I wonder? The Watchers have declared war on someone? Are we sure? That's unfortunate for whoever that... Oh, yes, they have. <gasps> they're actually at war with the Rakthaler and Fire Tribes. Oh, buddy. Uh, that's going to be hilarious. They're going to go bitch slap the orcs for me. Oh, that's amazing. When did that happen? Oh, that's funny. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're a fallen empire. I can only assume that the uh, the Rekthalorans have uh, taken one of their holy planets and they're going after them. Uh, what do you say to a 200 pound rat that you can't walk through a garden? Uh, I don't know, Quinlist. <laughs> That's wild. That's a, are we witnessing an actual ass kicking here? Are we about to witness an ass kicking? Oh Ships my. Upgraded. Oh, oh, yeah, no, that just disappeared off the map. Ships upgraded. Uh. Oh, oh dear. That, that, I literally lost. I lost sensor telemetry. <laughs> they hit that they hit that planet so hard it fucking vanished. Oh wow. Yeah, look, it's occupied by the watchers. The watchers are on the wall path. Oh good night. I think I wonder if the uh, the fire tribes must have tried to lay lay claim to one of their planets and they were just like, ah, we're gonna we're gonna blow you up now. Wow, that actually happened so fast, I didn't actually witness it. <laughs> That's great. Well, I mean, it's not great for them. That's going to be uh, an absolute ruin for them, but... Oh, that's funny. Oh, not another faction. Oh, my God. How many factions could one person have? The Hamsterian Ascendancy Block. What? A, what is it about... Everyone wanting to curtailing the rights of aliens. This is this is a this is a nightmare. Now what? I'm staring ascendancy block. Uh. Wait, aren't these just the rebranded other lot? Because one of them's just disappeared. I think these guys have just rebranded themselves as something different. Uh, nothing. Who the fuck dares do anything to a two hundred pound rat? If he wants to sleep in your room, you shut up and move. <laughs> <laughs> yep, basically. Oh, these guys have just rebranded. They they were called something else. And now they've just decided to rebrand. So now I have to suppress them because they've just rebranded themselves. That's that's just that's amazing. Okay, sure. They're being influenced by all the xenophobes. They must be. They're like, hey, xenophobia is fashionable. Like, no, it isn't. It's not good. Right. Oh, I wish we could watch this. I really wish we could watch this, but we can't. Oh, that's so funny. Well, no wonder they were, uh, okay, this this might be a self-solving problem, you know. I love it when problems solve themselves. They're the best type. Hey, Omega Forge, how's it going? Oh god, I need to pause the game before I do that. There we go, let's give you a shout out there. Whoops, if I can actually spell your username, which apparently I can't today. Nope, you're now Omega Forged. There you go. Got it in the end, nailed it. Yeah, I'm pretty good, thanks. Pretty good. Uh, we just avoided a... a uh, it, uh, Well, the angry orcs, uh, who we were slightly worried about, uh, have actually managed to piss off the angry bird people, who have a massive technological supremacy over them. So if you'll notice here, the bird people have just gone to war and taken two of their planets in an eye blink. Um, which is great for us, because that means they're going to be occupied, and they don't care about us, because we haven't touched any of their holy planets. What I reckon has happened... I think the orcs took one of these holy worlds, and at which point it was like, right, gloves off, fights on. 
and it's not going to go well for them. That that could well be the end of this slot, which is this is going to be really funny. Uh, that's what you get. They did indeed fuck around, and they found out. Okay, damned birds. I know the the bloody map's covered in them. How many bird factions have we got? Three, four. Might even be five. Okay, what do we think is a good uh, research option here? We have experimental subspace navigation. That sounds fun. Solitary science ships can break out of naturally occurring high planes and navigate to known but otherwise un. <clears throat> oh, that's actually kind of pointless now because the entire map's been uh, the entire map's be sh been shown. Uh, so that would have been great earlier. This galaxy is for the birds, yeah, basically. Uh, colony development speed, that's pretty good. Advanced shields, that's gonna take fucking ages, but okay. Uh, artisan output, subspace sensors. Black hole observatory. Dimensional shrine. Outside the known universe, there are pathways to other worlds. The holiest of temples. Why why would they be holy temples? That's just weird, but okay, sure. Um hmm. I mean advanced shield sounds like a fun time. Uh but that's gonna take forever. Uh that's 23 months disruptors. I'm gonna dodging disruptors, because I think our tech's already better than that. Uh let's go for advanced shields, that sounds fun. <laughs> Okay, uh, any other red alerts we've got going on? No, right, have we, have we finally upgraded everything? Nope, still needs upgrading. I don't mind, my ships are now just in an endless loop of upgrading, this is just weird. Right, so what is happening ships here? Upgraded. Ships upgraded. Oh, okay, here, yeah, here we go again. Here we go again. Oh my god, they've already, they've already, have they already nicked it? They've already nicked it. Oh my god, that's like three systems in, in like, less than a minute. Uh, advanced shields are kind of the only one worth getting. Hey, Bamboozle, how's it going? Oh, okay, I made a good choice there. Yeah, 314 fleet power. Wait, so so what? Let's, let's have a look at these guys. Oh my god. Uh, well, I guess the whole uh, the ship organization thing doesn't work well for them, which is kind of funny. They got 16 battle cruisers and 41 escorts. Right, what the hell are these things? Uh, zealot class. Okay, a single escort vessel has 3,000 military power. Gold magic is just very advanced tech, so Stargate stuff is just called temples. Yeah, I, I guess that's got. Well, yeah, that's a good point. Oh my god. Battlecruiser Shrieking Harrier, Avatar class, 11,000. <laughs> I'm just going to let them get on with that because that's really funny. Yep, they literally, they, they entered the system, they overtook the system, and then they're leaving. Oh boy, I am so glad we didn't piss those guys off. That's so funny. Ah! That's what you get for being a dick. That's what you get for being a dickish orc. Um, still, I'm quite glad we reinforced our borders, because uh, that, that's a good thing to do. Uh, right, okay, dear god. Uh, now, I suppose the other thing I should probably do... Oh, did I, did I reinforce here? Oh, that's 13,000. Okay, that's pretty healthy. Because um, that's right in the middle of... Uh... Oh, no, it isn't. It's actually adjacent. Technically, that's enemy territory, because um, all these guys are vassals to the orcs. It looks like somebody's building a fleet here. Is this the mechanists? Oh, no, they're retreating. Oh, that's funny. Wait, is that? Oh, yeah, vassal. Okay. God, they must be getting absolutely hammered. I'm okay with this. If I was feeling, feeling particularly uh, evil, I'd, 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 I'd declare war on them myself, but I'm honestly tempted to see what happens. Oh my god, they're actually going to invade the planets, look. Oh, they have really pissed them off. 
Construction complete. Okay, they've got 24, sh 24 ships. And they are... Wait, what have they... And they're 3,000. Oh my god, this is this is a nightmare if you're an orc. Oh, so funny. Reap the whirlwind, Murphy. That's what I say. Yeah, I didn't think they would actually, like, expand and take over, but they've just decided the orcs are now at death. Ships upgraded. Right, this still isn't upgrading everyone at the same time. Why? Am I just upgraded? Am I just like massively behind on my upgrades? Maybe I am. I don't know. This is Ships just puzzling. Upgraded. Oh, what's this? A newly founded colony. Okay, where is this? It is. D -d 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 I can't see. Upgraded. Uh, Tikwam. Where the hell's that? Ships upgraded. Oh, Stop it! Stop! I wish to look at my colony. God damn it. Okay, um... Where'd it, where'd it go? Uh... Oh yeah, there we go. Right. Uh, so, what have we got going on here? Poor quality minerals. Okay, I guess mining's not an option. Um... It's goat people. Okay. Oh, that's... Okay, something's got a little bit screwy with the UI uh, scale here, I think. Oh. Oh no, it's just because I put it to the right, didn't I? Because if I move it there, it's fine. I'm an idiot. Never mind. Uh, right, we just build some districts and stuff then, I guess. Uh, without running out of minerals, which I might do if I'm not careful. Uh, so if this place is crap in minerals, I don't see the point of doing much mineralness here. Doesn't seem to make an awful lot of sense. Right, let's give them some nice houses, because everyone likes nice houses. Um, if you're good with food, let's do hydroponics. There we go. And then once they've settled in, we can maybe turn that into an agri-world or something. Uh, might want to upgrade this. Well, no, well, let's upgrade it and we'll give it some... Uh, torpedoes. I'm just putting torpedo launchers on everything now. <laughs> I'm just paranoid. Um, okay, more ships are great. Right, have you finally finished upgrading my ships? ships? Upgraded. Yeah? Are we good now? Ships upgraded. Yeah? Happy happy with the upgrading? Okay, let's actually have a look at one most powerful fleet. Oh wow, twenty thousand. Okay, let's see what's actually changed here. So uh they now have antimatter reactors, hyperdrive three, plasma thrusters, gravitic sensors. Okay. Interesting. We may have to, uh... Oh, why is that... Why is that in the red? Always worries me when there are red numbers. Must have its reasons? I'm not sure what. Okay. Well, this is good. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move that there. Because uh, we've got a lovely Ships little invasion upgrade. corridor. If uh, we wanted to make the Orcs day even worse. Um, if I was more aggressive, this would probably be the time to do it. But <laughs> I want to see what the bird people do. Because that's terrifying. That one fleet is just marching its way through their territory. Oh, hello. Um, oh, yes, we need to check in on that. We need to check in on the Jackley. Before fixing this, uh, or fixing this world first. Uh, what's, what's wrong with it? Low stability. Uh, difficulty 10, principle 2, population jobs. 6% population approval rating. Why do they hate me? Are they not... Well, how do we do population now, actually? Because this is this this screen is now new. Uh, new sector planets and sectors designated. Where do I see population? Uh, and that's planetary features. That's that's trade. That's district. Okay, this this new UI thing. I don't know where population is. <laughs> I don't know who lives here. 
Um, capital decisions. Uh, if I click on population, does that do anything? No. No. Hmm. Bugger. I'd very much like to see who lives here, but I can't. Oh. Oh. I've just discovered something. This mod does not work very well when you've got the UI scaled to 1.1. I think I need to scale it back to 1.0 because it's actually hiding tabs now because I, I've made it too big. <laughs> I need to fix that, otherwise that's going to bug the hell out of me. Hang on a minute. That's the fun. That's, that's quite amusing. Right, give me but a second. Uh, I shall be back very shortly. I'm gonna try and hit the aircraft with the arrow. Eat. I'm glad we had the same idea. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. That was. That was propelled to Earth by the force of a thousand suns. That was amazing. <laughs> oh my god. You actually like, sped the animation up three times. Oh. Infiltrating them if I kill them all. Let's hope they forget all about it. Are you a god? Yes, bang. <laughs> a pop is about a billion people. Oh god! Oh, that's proper war crimes. Oh, God. That's horrible. Okay, yeah, I guess I guess we've accidentally uplifted them. Okay. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> we've taught them how to make explosives. Oh, boy. That's... Uh... uh... Um, I mean, I, I I feel that perhaps that's... Oy. Excellent. Uh... Okay, let's see if uh, that's made a bit of a difference. I was like, that would drive me potty after a bit. Yeah, it's probably, probably, it's probably for higher resolutions. I think you might be right. Okay, right, so let's try that again. Um, it was clicking on a colony, wasn't it? Or it said, uh, was it Etris colony? Yeah, there we go. Now I can see the tabs at the bottom. Okay. I need like something like 1.25 in enhancement on the UI. There we go. Right, so the population is 100% Wasari. Uh, who are the goat people who don't like me. Why don't they like me? Available amenities. Oh, uh, low amenities. Right, we probably best fix that. How do we fix that? Um, uplifting a species and immediately giving them explosives. Not a good mix. Oh, that was hilarious. Um, we need to check in with them, actually. Uh, we, we actually eventually made them our friends. Uh, they did better than the civilization I accidentally let nuke themselves. Uh, that was unfortunate. Um, but yes, the, the, the bug people we accidentally gave explosives to, uh, I think they're doing okay now. <laughs> but we need to check in on them. Okay, uh, what do we wheat? What do we wheat? What do we wheat? What do we need, even? Uh, amenities. Okay, so... Base amenities usage, effects from low amenities... So penalties are happening. You can increase amenities by applying pops in various jobs such as entertainers. Okay, so we need like a hollow theater or something. Okay, maybe even two hollow theaters. It's a refinery world. How happy are people liable to be? I mean, sure. Uh, what else? Uh, have they got luxury residences here? No, they don't. Let's give them some luxury residences. But make that make them happy? Housing and amenities. There we go. Let's see if that sorts them out. Well, that explains why they're unhappy, at least. Right, what do we got here? Favor gained. Thanks to the skill of our envoys, we've got a favor with the Jackley. That could be coming handy. Uh, speaking of which, how are we getting on with these guys? Uh, 
Uh, can we form a federation yet? Nope. Still at minus 15. I wonder if we can throw stuff at that to, f to suss that out. What can we do there? Uh, these guys really quite like gas, didn't they? Is it gas? Alright, how much have we got in the way of gas? Uh, 6k. Okay, if we just gave them like a thousand gas just for free. Um, they'll probably be okay with that. That's acceptance, but I don't know how much that's going to give us in return. Let's find out. Right, they're processing my suggestion. Would you like free gas? I mean, you think most people wouldn't think about that very hard. Oh, 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 oh god, everything's happening. Everything is happening. Uh, right. Trade deal offer. They are okay with that, unsurprisingly. Right, how does that make them feel about us now? Minus 12. Okay, that's, that's, that's gonna take a lot of gas. <laughs> oh, it's gonna take a lot of gas. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll keep, we'll keep pinging away at that. Uh, what else have we got in excess of? Food. How do they feel about food? How do slugs, how do slugs feel about food, I wonder? Um, significantly less interested in food. Okay. What else wacky have we got to viciously bribe them with? Um, living metal? Zro? I don't feel like the living metal. Oh, oh, they like living metal. Okay. How much of this have we got? We've got a thousand living metal. So every day, I don't know, 500? That's 114. We're not using it much at the moment. Can you make your own living metal? Uh, only plus one. Yeah, probably not a good idea. I could just keep giving them some more gas. I'll give them some more gas. Yeah, slugs have gas. Uh, which leaves us plenty in reserve. We're at plus five on gas, that's fine. Right, what was this other question thing that came up? Foreign Empire claims our system? Uh, the Gossok system? I mean, they can't have that either. Yeah, they're, they're just like... That this oh wait is that a is that a direct route that's not a direct route is it oh yes it is uh how well defended is this not as much as I'd like okay uh let's put a couple more defense platforms there uh that is in the middle of my my uh, empire though I'm sure I've got a spare fleet floating around somewhere. Give them a small but significant gift every year. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, because it's like... Uh, Why is the... Hang on a minute. Why has my frame rate gone all spoony? Ugh, what's going on there? Right. Um. Yeah, it's diminishing returns, isn't it? What have I done there? Let me alt-tab out for a second. Let me see if I can fix that. Why is that being all strange? That's better. This game doesn't like being alt-tabbed out of. There we go. The most efficient way, okay. Yeah, they're definitely they're definitely big on gas. Uh they're just they are just claiming they're trying to just claim all of our systems while they're getting their asses handed to them by the birds. This is hilarious. Okay, they're on the borders. Okay, this is gonna be a matter of time before these guys kick off, I'm sure. Okay, that can't... Oh, is that... Oh, have I run out of minerals? I've run out of candy. Whoops! Need to buy more candy. They need somewhere to run away to. Yeah, that's probably why. Uh, Yes, I wish to buy candy. I wish to buy a thousand candy, because that's all I've got. Okay, right. What kind of government do they have? Uh, crusading something or another's. What were they? 
De Democratic Crusaders. So they're fan fanatic egalitarians. Militarist fanatic egalitarians. That's basically, you will be happy or we will kill you. Or something. I, I don't know. I think that's how that works. Right. Uh, I mean, I've got I've got one big fleet heading in that direction. Um, where are my other fleets? Uh, I think maybe I should not. Oh, hello. What's this? What is this? That is the Evandarian exterminators desperately trying to get out of their their system while the bird people eat them, uh, which is kind of funny. Uh, let's. Pull some of this away. Uh, what's my next biggest one? Right, that one. And you can head down here. Where were they laying claim to? Tithil? Oh no no no! They're just they're just the normal kind of asshole. That they're, they're not the they're not the weapons grade asshole. They're just they're just regular asshole. <laughs> Which doesn't really help much, but yeah. Right, okay. Uh, trade off a deal with the Jackley Consciousness. They're like, okay with this. Good. How does that help? Um, we have a C. Still minus 12. Okay, that's going to take a while. I have probably picked the worst race to try and bribe into a federation, to be honest. Uh, yeah, sure. You can claim all you want. It's not going to matter. The first chamber. Oh, God. This this is probably not a bad this is this is nothing bad. I'm sure this is fine. I am Sarklan! The guardian of Molstarb, Prophet of Zvar. In a galaxy awash with spite and hatred, I've chosen to misseclude myself here. Proceed if ye be worthy. We're not worthy. Still your best shot. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, a tiny concealed wall panel. When pressed, the ancient door rumbled open. Oh god. Oh god. And then it exploded. Which is probably quite likely. Okay. I think I think our borders are relatively okay. Favor gained. We've got another favor with the Jackley. God damn. How many favors have we got with these guys now? How do we tell? Um, is there like a favor list? Two favors. God, that reminds me of one of the Age of Sigmar books where someone's, uh, I think it's, it's Spear of Shadows, where someone's arguing with the, uh, the, the, um, ah, the Sky Dwarves, whose name I can't bloody remember right now. And it's like, you owe me half a favor. And it's like, I'm not sure how much half a favor is going to get you. Hey, Tank here! Hey, Ancient Tomb! You just need the proper key, aka C4. No, we're being a little bit more sensible than that, mostly. Mostly sensible. <laughs> we're mostly sensible. Mostly. Um... Okay, this is this is hilarious. Yeah, look. that. So... The Orcs have retreated into the Lock and Mechanist space. And they're, they're building up their fleets there. I still don't think it's going to be good enough. I think the birds are going to kick their asses because they have I think they may have actually given up on this bit of space. Because uh, this is progressing rapidly. I'd love to know where the... Uh... I wonder if we can bribe someone into giving us sensor locations for the... Oh no, we do actually already have sensor locations. Okay, that's fine. All money is is half a favor, really. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. There is that. Okay, we could. I, I, we, we need to call in these favors in the Senate, because that would be great. Uh, up next, form the Galactic Council. Did we form the Galactic Council last time? Would we be on on the Galactic Council? Oh, yes, we would. It would be the Fire Tribes, the Jackley, and me. That means I would control uh, just under half of the Galactic Council. <laughs> we should push this through. We should definitely uh, say this is a good idea. 
Uh, and maybe call in some favours as well, because I believe, is it the, the top three... The top three diplomatic weight become the council? I think everyone tried to defeat this last time. I don't know what this will do, but I think it'll be funny to do anyway. Okay. Um, I wonder if we can call in some favours as well. Let's call in these favours. Oh, the Empire is already... Oh, they don't need to call in the favour because um, they're already supporting the, the motion. Makes sense. Uh, repeal Pangalactic Recycling Initiatives. Okay, the only person... Who is the only people that want to do this? Uh, I think it's the... Wait, is it just the... Hang on. It's only the Lock and Theocracy that wanna want to want don't want this to go through. I can't even remember what these do. What does the pangalactic recycling shenanigans do? Um Ah, here we go. Pangalactic recycling initiatives. Uh diplomatic weight from economy. Uh clear blocker time plus ten percent. Hmm. Yeah, we'll, we'll probably oppose that. Oh, I am already opposing it. Never mind. Excellent. Right. Okay, then. Uh, the big... The, also, the slight plus we have is... Oh. Okay. Uh, oh, that's their economy. The Jackley Hive Mines fleets are now inferior to ours, so that that'll keep them in check, which is good. Um, because their their stuff's not as scary as ours, so that's that's a good thing. Um, okay, how we do? Oh, good, blocker cleared. That's what we want. Oh, someone's insulted us. The human star hegemony has declared a rivalry with the pious Locan theocracy. Okay, I'm gonna be. I gotta show you guys this. The human star hegemony is here. That is it. And they've just declared uh this lot their rivals. I don't why. Why would you why? <laughs> I don't know why these guys haven't been wiped out, to be honest. I don't know what's going on there. Uh but that's not my problem. Hashtag, not my problem. Oh, hold on. Who are these? Who are these red things? This, that, wow. Okay, I just noticed there's a shit ton of red stuff over here. What is this all about? Mineral extraction operation. Mining core. Mining core. Mining core. Okay, where did these guys come from? Well, I thought we weren't supposed to touch that because it's a holy world. And these guys would beat our beat our asses because it was a. But these guys, okay, it's weird. What what is this all about? Ancient mining drone. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hmm. It says they're hostile. That worries me slightly. Oh, they don't colonize anything. Okay, so we're we're, we're better off just leaving them. Actually, to be honest, they were. They're working as a nice little... Oh, no. Yeah, they're working as a nice little buffer, actually. Because if... Anyone tried to come at us from this direction, that ain't gonna work. So, I guess that's a good thing. Oh, man. Right. Who, what, what, is, uh, what is wrong with my planets with low stability? That's still this one. I'm working on it. I'm trying to fix it. I'm trying to fix it. It's, it's in the process of being fixed. Could wreck them at stage, but you can't colonize the planets anyway. Yeah, I might as well just leave them. They're they're a handy uh they're a handy buffer. Uh how much candy have we got? Two thousand. Oh, okay. Colony established. Uh oh, that's an old colony. I didn't know about. Okay, where is that? That is Oh, well within our ter territory, so that's good. Uh let's have a look, see. Do -do -do. Okay, so... Gab, daughter of Shrek. Uh, oh yeah, because these guys are good with uh, Alpine Worlds, aren't they? Uh, or are they? 
I think the orcs are better with alpine stuff, so... Oh, they're goats. Maybe they do like alpine things. Who knows? Uh, let's have a look at the blockers. Can we move any of them? No. Never mind, then. Uh, let's do some, I don't know, true reticences. Let's get some districts up. Except I haven't got a lot of candy, so I need to be careful. Oh, no. It's minerals, not candy. I've got a shit ton of minerals. We're fine. Um, put them in. Put them in. Put them in. Couple of them. Awesome. Okay, good. Hopefully that wouldn't be too bad. Okay, good. All our ships are upgraded. So let's have a look. What is. So what do our cruisers look like now? I'm intrigued. Oh, that's frigates. Uh, cruiser, here we go. What do we change on these? Oh, okay, right. So it was, it was. I think we're on anti matter something three, and that's four, and that's... Okay, that's fine. God, these are horrific. Medium plasma accelerators. This is fine. Everything is fine. Okay, cool. No, it's not where I want to be. Yeah, look at the, the 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 poor goat people. They're desperately trying to get out of their system, and it's just it's just not working. <laughs> it's just not working. Locker cleared. They can't leave. Poor guys. Uh oh. Uh no. The right. The reavers. The reavers have slowed down. This worries me. Breaking bad, indeed. Yeah, we were doing some goat goat puns the other day. Should I just noticed. This is actually uh, the entrance point for these guys. I should probably be fortifying this. That is not actually particularly well defended. Uh, do I have enough alloys for this? No, I don't. I'll downgrade your shields rather than put less shields and more armor. Yeah, I think I think our designs are okay. It was just uh it was just very strange how it decided to instead of doing all the upgrades at once, it was doing it seemed to be doing them incrementally, which is a bit weird. Right, let's go stick ourselves here, I think. Just in case, because that's a prime invasion corridor there. There's another one there, but I've got a I've got a station there, which isn't too terrible. Um, and hang on a minute, that's an interesting colour. Uh, oh, that's the exterminators. Okay, that's fine. Increments might be in batches of how you can afford. Oh, it might be. And if I ran low on, um, if I ran low on candy. Yeah, you might be right. Okay, what do we got? Uh, we can adopt things. We haven't completed the Flesh's Week yet. Or can we add another one? Oh, we can just add another one. Okay, that's handy. Uh, I think we were working on the Flesh's Week. Uh, it's going to take... Oh, busy with special project, the Flesh's Week. Okay, hang on. Uh, 152 months. <laughs> Hey, Kobe Fire, how's it going? Can confirm, flesh is indeed weak. It, it, it's true. Uh, I suppose we could adopt another um, another thing in the meantime. Uh, uh, let's have a look. Hey, Math, how's it going? I smell genocide. Yeah, luckily it's not ours, though. See, so you're starting to see the galactic topography of what it is now. Invasion corridors, space obstacles. Yeah, I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting the hang of it. Very, very slowly but surely. Time to build more research buildings. You might be right there. Right. What would be another one to adopt? Because I think we're okay with... We, we're, we are allowed to have two on the go. What have we got here? Prosperity, adaptability, expansion. Ooh. Enhanced recycling. Building in district, crystals, gas, moats. Strategic resource cost and upkeep reduced by 10%. That could be good. 
Uh, habitability plus 10%. Also not terrible. Reach for the stars. Uh, Starbase influence cost. Bit late for that. Uh, yeah. Probably could have done with that earlier. Harmony. Mm -hmm. uh, leader lifespan 10 years. Maximum traits minus one. Okay, apparently meditation does it for you. Kinship. Mercantile. Hmm. Yeah, no, I, expansion would have been a good one to adopt a long time ago. Uh, politics. Whenever a solution you supported passes, gain one favour on the empire that proposed it. That sounds funny. Gravitas. Uh, minus 25% influence cost of veto or proposed resolutions. Officials assigned to Galactic Community provide an additional 2.5% diplomatic weight per skill level. Interesting. Prosperity. Oh. Building upkeep, district upkeep, minus 10%. I think we're going to go with prosperity. <laughs> I, I think prosperity might not actually be a terrible idea. Uh, standard construction templates, buildings and districts have their build costs reduced by 10%. Yeah, let's go with that. Uh, it's going to cost us all our unity, so it's going to be a while. But then we haven't got... The, the cybernetics thing isn't ready yet, so that's that's not a thing we can do. So that's fine. Right, going back to a tangent uh, a long time ago uh, when Jordan mentioned it. So here we have the Entherans. Uh, the Entherans uh, were the uh, explosive-wielding insect people who we accidentally uplifted, uh, but they're doing okay. <laughs> um, they're, they're, they've got nowhere to go, but they're doing okay. So, you know, that's a good thing. They didn't blow me up. They didn't blow themselves up, unlike the poor sods over here, uh, who uh, very much exploded themselves. So uh, not much I could do about that, really. Senate is now in session. Oh, God, there's another one. Repeal Guardian Angels Act. Oh, what does that do? Guardian Angels. Guardian Angels Act. Diplomatic weight from fleet power. Minus 20%. Defense army morale. But repeal? Actually, yeah. Do you know what? I think I'm down for repealing that. Because that would give me some more diplo weight from fleet power. But then it would work for everyone else as well. Why did you build a new crusty crab? I like money. Yeah, basically. No problem, math. I mean, that would benefit us as much as it benefited anyone else. Yeah, okay. Do you know what? We're going we're gonna to support that because uh, I think everyone supports it. Oh, yeah. Unsurprisingly, the Rekthalorans and all their friends are, are wanting to see that pass because it'll probably make their diplomatic weight even bigger. Uh, so there's no way I could stop that. Also, my Diplo weight's gone down, which is interesting. Oh, my Diplo weight's gone down because of the recycling initiatives. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, wait, that's why I was trying to... Re oh, maybe I want to repeal them. Hang on a minute. Oh, God. Uh... Hmm. I might change my mind, you know. I think this is going to benefit everyone more than... Oh, no, it won't. this won't pass because it's it's only supported by the the Lockens. So that one won't pass. Um, oh, my word. Why do I have a funny feeling I'm not going to benefit from that if I repeal it? But then it doesn't matter. I can I can abstain all I like because there's not enough Diplo power left in the universe to stop these guys. So, because <laughs> uh, everyone else belongs to them. So there we go. Uh, fuck it. I might as well support it. Screw it. When do I did oppose it? It's not, it's it's gonna go through regardless. Fuck it. Right. Okay. Where does that leave us? Uh, in Twabble, probably. 
What's the oh hello, who's this? Hostile fleets, privateers. Are these pirates? These must be pirates. Well, privateers aren't technically pirates, but um, you know. I did th they have they been like they must have just been pushed back here. Because <clears throat> there's nothing here. Interesting. Right, have the birds taken over the entire thing over here? They're still going, I think. Yeah. Uh, I wonder if I need to reinforce here, because I wonder if something terrible will happen. Uh, can we build any more defenses? Yes, we can. Uh, we've got some gun batteries, we've got a shipyard. What are the buildings we got here? Communications jammer. Making it difficult to coordinate fleet movements. Offensive aura. Sublight speed minus 20, combat disengagement chance minus 20. Huh. <clears throat> that would probably be great for somewhere that wasn't a single system. Transit hub? Yeah, that's basically what's happened. They, they've, they've picked things that are definitely going to benefit them. Because... Their combined fleet strength is probably much bigger than mine, um, which is why they've got, like, a huge amount. Uh, we could build another listing post. Let's build another listing post, actually. Let's do that. Oh, here we go. They're still going. They're still... Oh, they've taken another, they've taken another system. Just like that. <laughs> Are they actually invading? Are they actively invading here? Because that is really funny if they are. Oh, hello. Uh, physicists from the alien civilization Una have split the atom for the first... Oh, God. The Haspal have got nukes. Red alert. The Haspal have nukes. Oh, God. You have one listening post a second won't benefit you there. Oh, oh, well. Why? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Do they know we exist? Okay, uh, they're neutral. We should probably make them friends. Or they're gonna blow themselves up, probably. Are we, are we spying on them? No, we're not, okay. It'll be fine, probably. Well, actually it might not be because, uh, is that, that's their colony, isn't it? It's not mine. Okay, good. <laughs> they could blow up their own colony, that's fine. <laughs> I don't, I don't mind. Oh, God. Funny stuff. Hit nuclear annihilation. It's so funny. Uh, uh, Gab, daughter of Shrek, got the environmental engineer trait. Okay, cool. Uh, relic activation available. I don't think I can afford it. That will cost me all of my minerals to give me a shit ton of candy. Now, I do want candy, but I wonder... Well, hmm, that might actually be worth doing. Because I think building more ships is probably a good idea. Uh, but that will be all of our minerals. Which means we won't be able to do anything for a little while. But we'll have a shit ton of candy. Uh, is it worth it? We can always buy more minerals. In fact, we're actually at maximum... We're at maximum thing for food, so fuck it. I'm going to activate it. And I'm going to sell some food buy some minerals with it. Because that's how things go. Right, okay. Um, what can we do? Uh, 10,000? That gives us 6,000 energy. Uh, let's buy some minerals. So, 500,000, 5,000? Okay, that gives us a cushion. There we go. That's That's an idea. Now I have much candy. I have 15,000 candy. I can build ships now. <laughs> right. Uh, hmm. God, I'm waiting. I'm I'm waiting for everyone to make the, their move at the same time. That's what I'm waiting for. Though I do think the orcs have got their hands full. They really have got their hands full. They're getting absolutely smashed. Um, have they actually taken this out over yet? 
Okay, so they're not colonizing. That's interesting. They're sending an invasion fleet, but they're not actually... Oh. Oh, that's gone as well. Okay, I don't know how that's going to work. So the bird people are, are taking all the systems, but they're not colonizing them. Which is interesting. I am so glad we didn't piss these guys off. <laughs> oh man. I'm just I'm just happy to let them get squished, to be honest. That's that's great. Uh the Reavers have been surprisingly quiet, uh, which worries me. It's been very quiet over here. I can't remember if they're still at war with the exterminators, actually. Are they still at war with the exterminators? Uh, Reavers, Reavers, Reavers. Yeah, they are still at war. They don't seem to be doing anything, though. Hmm. I mean, potentially we could we could declare war on the Reavers and crush them between the two of us, but I like the fact that they're acting as a buffer right now, so... I don't know. It's it's all gonna it's all gonna tumble down at some point. Right, how are we doing? Uh, they'll defeat them in war, but I'm not sure what they do. Just eradicate the offending colonies and call it good. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Okay, this is good. There's a lot less red here. That's oh, Etris has sorted itself out. Excellent, good. Stability's still shit, but we're working on it, so that's good. Uh, what needs an upgrade here? Planetary administration. Thank you kindly. Uh, did I not build any research? Somebody was saying about research labs. Where's a good place for research labs? Consumer goods into research points. Yeah, let's do that because they've got a few consumer goods going on so that's good uh okay what's going on here um hamster honker who who named these oh i did probably what's a hamster honker what the hell is a hamster honker i can't even remember oh my god Hamster honker. Oh, the robots! Right! I'm like, what the fuck are those things? Oh, they're robots. We, we made robots. Oh, this is different as well. Okay. Uh, Empire, Galaxy. Oh, nice. Oh, hello. There's some there's some new people we haven't encountered. We have the... The Besedon. Is a species without a home planet. Interesting. The Bouvendon. Who also don't have a home planet. Uh, the Dabulon. The Dabulon. <laughs> Dab. Oh dear. Um, yeah, well, there's a bunch of things we haven't encountered yet, but that's okay. That's less for me to worry about. I am so intrigued with this situation over here. It is just, they, they are just like, I, I, I don't know, it's like in a, what? I don't know. A couple of months, they've just absolutely taken, over, taken this over. I wonder if they're going straight for the capital. Where is their capital? Oh, hello. Oh, not another faction. Jesus wept. Uh, for a future playthrough, I think disjointed of your empire is also affecting your stability. Ah, okay. Yeah, that sounds like a distinct possibility. Yeah. Well, also, I think, to be honest... Some of them were ones I'd just taken over, I think. Like, uh, I think Etris Colony was... Uh, we only just took it away from the piggy people. So that's maybe why it's unstable. Everything else seems to be working okay. Uh, I need to have a look at the sectors at some point, because I'm... I'm slightly puzzled about how the sectors are working and not working. Yet. I still haven't figured that one out. Amsterian Unity Blog. Is this... Have they rebranded again? I bet you they have. This is the same lot. This is the same lot. They keep rebranding. This is so funny. It's it's the same lot, and they just keep changing their name. 
So I have to come back and suppress them a second time. And then they come back with a different name. But it's exactly the same lot. It's it's the xenophobic militarists. It's like, what? Oh, you guys are just nuts. <laughs> after, after, a, after a manner of speaking, I guess, yeah. Right, okay. Uh, oh, archaeological stuff. The second chamber. Okay, I like I like how the uh, text is arranged on this with this mod. This is this is good. Petty kings issued edicts in my name. Empires waged war in my honor. Fools sang my praises. I would have none of it. Okay, I have a bad feeling about this. And of course, it's the Eldritch Oopsie ship that's in charge of all this because of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Um, wait, what's happened here? Oh, what's this? Resolution has been passed on minor military sanctions. Okay, cool. Works for me. Construction complete. But yeah, uh, I think um, I think Quinlis has probably got a good point. Well, basically, what happened? Uh, I got wrapped up in in doing something, and we would have had this space here, but the Jackley were so fast in colonizing. By the time I came back here and actually paid attention, they were like, "We have yoinked this entire section of space," which neatly. That sort of made my empire fall in half, which wasn't great. Uh, these two down here are entirely my fault, um, but th they're going to be handy because there's, there's 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 two warp gates there. So if anyone kicks off, we can actually attack from unexpected vectors. So that could be amusing. I'll get me unexpected vectors. Uh, trade deal expired. Uh, with the Uva Zavanian Interstellar League. Well, they're part of the bloody. Um, Rick Thaler and not anyway, so meh. Starbase construction complete. Wait, was I building another starbase? Oh, no, it's a listening post. Okay, cool. Um, oh no, I think that did that did help actually. Is now we can see now we can see the the, the where the, a lot more of the fire tribe fleets are. Yeah, they are they are actually rapidly vacating their own own systems because they don't have a choice in the matter. <laughs> They're gonna this this could be this could actually be a potential revolution. Because if the Rekthalarans lose like enough stuff, I wonder if we could like swing the other lot swing their vassals to our side um and then that would be hilarious i don't know whether that's doable or not but um that could be very amusing because amusingly i think actually individually they don't hate us that much as a collective they hate us so where are we uh Uh, no, Haspath don't count. Yeah, so the Mechanists, the Zavanians, the Lokans. They, they don't actually hate us that much, even though we're actually at war with... Well, or, or the fact that their overlords hate our guts. So it, it, it might actually work out. Yeah, these guys must be in terrible trouble. Still says they're relatively thing. Oh, now they're at war with the Watchers and the Theocracy. Oh, okay. Um, who... Oh, they're at war with everyone. Okay, never mind. That's just... It's fine. We'll just... We'll just let them get on with it and see what happens. God knows I'll get easily distracted otherwise. That's an invasion fleet of one. What, where is that and why does it exist? Um, oh, probably because it's the Cybrex. Okay. Am I still building those? I really should be. I'm not. 
Um, I should be building those. Uh, how much candy have I got? 17,000. This is fine. Wait, if we have to re have to invade anywhere, this is absolutely fine. What's this? Special project. Oh, flesh is weak. Yep, now we know about that. Okay. Let's have a look at this whole sector management thing because I. I wonder if we can, like. Because this bit is not part of a sector, this is all over the shop. So let's have a look see. Right, so what we've got? We've got Gaia, this is great. Manage sector. Add systems, wink word. Okay, hold on a minute. Uh, oh, uh, okay. Remove systems. Okay, so we could we could add that to the sector. Uh oh, I this is something I didn't realize I could do. So I could actually uh, add these to the um add these to the sector. I assume that would be beneficial. It's okay. Uh, where are we? Uh. Ofogliele. Yeah. Hunter. And the mighty Belgium. Where is Belgium? Um, it's down here somewhere, isn't it? Uh, I've forgotten. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, I mean, maybe it doesn't make sense, because now I may well have just messed this up. I still don't quite understand how the sector thing works. Because I feel we should probably... Oh, we don't have a colony here. That's why. Or do you actually need to have a colony? I don't know, actually. I guess one of these would have to be our sector capital. Uh, we'd have to make a new... Can we make a new sector capital? I just split out Bagol. Did I? Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, I did. I made it its own sector. That's really stupid. You're right. I did. Um Oh yeah, Bagol is now wait, huh? Add system Halamar. Where's Halamar? Halamar Never mind. Um I don't know where Halamar is. A sector governor. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's probably a fair shout. Could you show me where Halamar is? That'd be great. Actually, let's use the magical thing. No, no, I wish to, I wish to search. Oh, Halamar is already part of the Great Wheel. Okay, so yeah, I've probably made a big oof here. bit of a blunt instrument okay i feel maybe i need to found like another sector over here because this is this is connected only via wormholes so can we do that uh let's have a look hmm i do not see create sector <laughs> i'm not quite sure how i do that uh oh well Is it done through here? Yeah, so I've got four sectors. Oh, that's the outliner options. That's something entirely. What planet? Oh, okay, don't know. I don't know what that does. That's a new mod. Not messing with that. Oh, new tra negative trait. Uh, Empire effects as counselor. Counselor gender speed minus 10. Uh, I don't think he's a counsellor, though, is he? He should be a... Uh... Oh, he's idle. Okay, never mind then. Um, no big loss. Uh, wait, have I got an I idle official? Okay, probably be putting these guys to use, I don't know. 
colonize uh oh okay right so hang on then so i've got a colony here which is fairly new uh Oh, I probably have to turn it into a planetary capital, I'm guessing. And I haven't got enough people here yet. Is that... is that right? I think that's right. And I haven't got anything over here because I haven't got any colonies. Okay, that's probably why. Okay. I'm gonna have to do some research on that. Uh, oh, ships! Yeah, I was going to build some more ships because uh, I'm 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 assuming something's going to kick off at some point fairly soon. Um, like for example, here. Can I build stuff here. Uh, nope, that's a planet, you moron. There we go. Uh, doesn't have a shipyard there. Okay. Wait, is this? Ah, that's got to have a shipyard. Nope, that doesn't have a shipyard. I think we downgraded some of our stuff, which was probably a good idea at the time. Uh, Shipyard? No, really? Okay, I don't have a shipyard on the frontier. Do I have a shipyard here? No, I just looked at that, didn't I? Nope. Where the hell is my nearest shipyard to the border? Uh, Shipyard, found it. Right, okay. Uh, we have lots of stuff. Okay, so let's do... No, blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. There you go. I'll do it. Nailed it. Organization. My kingdom for a horse, yeah. Uh, Politician 2 trait. Okay, good for him. I don't know what he's doing right now. Add a second shipyard there. Uh, ooh, that's a good point. Uh, where was it? Latium? No, not Latium. Where was it? Uh, God, my brain. I literally just forgot where it was. Oh, here we are. Um, docked. Oh, it's one of their science ships. Huh. Uh, that's not the same build queue, though, is it? So I could actually build another... Wait. So having two shipyards on the same base actually works out, does it? I didn't think that counted. Or, or, or does, does it actually... Does it run in parallel? Doubles the speed. Nice. That's also a separate build queue, which is uh very handy. Cool. Because if, it, if, it, if something's going to kick off down here, I'm sure. They do run in parallel. Right, okay. Wonder if we could, I wonder if we could convince the Jackley to let us take Nordak, and that'll give us another gateway. They probably wouldn't like it. Right, Council ha agenda ready. Oh, hello. Council agenda ready. What have we got? Open arms. Immigration, trade value, xenophile ethics. Okay, sure. Why not? Uh, let's go with display of power as a follow-up, I think. If I, Oh, no. That's already launched. Uh, cybernetic advantage. Well, we haven't got any cyborgs yet. Um, more unity. More unity is always good. Okay. Oh, hello. Uh, thank you very much for the follow, Donald B. Shaw. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, right, okay. Uh, I'm, I'm waiting. See, this is, this is, I'm not used to this. We had a period of, of, of huge amounts of pop-ups manifesting everywhere. And, and now everything's quiet and I'm not used to it. <laughs> I'm kind of like, oh, <laughs> it's peaceful. Largely because all the planets that have anything remotely interesting on, we've either don't own, don't belong to us, um, or we've already had a look at. So there's that about it. You're tempting fate, yeah. But as always, I'm very good at tempting fate. Right, how far have the Angry Bird people got? 
Uh, they're still going. Pretty sure they're still going. Yep, there's another one. <laughs> oh my god. Are they... Construction complete. Are they literally just going to wipe these guys out? I think they are. It's also probably peaceful because the parrot fall... Yeah, the, 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 the parrot people are just absolutely ruining the fire tribes. This could be great, actually. I wonder if we could... I wonder if we could make overtures to some of their vassal states, because... I wonder. Oh, all their stuff is pathetic. Okay. So who are we on the best terms with here? Other than the Jackley. The religious zealots. Great. The militaristic spiritualist xenophiles. Okay. We've got a lot in common. The fire tribes just surrender. Well, you'd think so, wouldn't you? That would be the smart thing to do. Okay, so this... Actually, this is the only independent... Is this the only independent lot that... A part of it? They must be at peace. Okay, so hilariously, we could form a federation with these guys, but unfortunately they're at war with something that could easily kill them. Uh, that's kind of funny. That's true, all their fleets just exploded. Yeah, that's a very good point. Actually, hold on a minute. Are we going to have, like... Uh, uh, oh, no, that's... Sorry, that's actually their economy. Oh, that's relative power. Okay. Um, yeah, they seem to be doing okay. That's quite amusing. Yeah, everyone's pathetic except the top, the top four. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Something's got to give. Two, something's got to give. Three, something's got to give. Um, actually, that's an arc. Oh no, wait, their borders are shut, so we can't go there. I'm like, oh, oh, candy, and I'm like, oh, I can't go there. Research complete. Okay, what do we research here? Start base capacity plus two. Hey, that's gonna fix our upkeep problems. Good stuff. That took forever, but that's okay. <laughs> Hot damn. Um, okay, what do we got here? Uh, hyper entertainment forums. Uh, gene modification, that's gonna take forever. Xeno hydraulic mastery can clear swamps, okay. Uh, claim influence cost, war exhaustion gain, that's gonna take forever. Hmm. Yeah, I was looking at the gene mod thing, it's gonna, it's gonna take like. A third of a year for that to for that to come through. Uh, whereas that's going to take twenty seven months. I mean, we could do it's it's a, it's a long one. Uh, ooh, plus forty two. Hey. Yeah, I wonder. Have we got any space anywhere? Uh, can we just randomly build some research places? Uh, might be an idea. Uh, hmm. Apparently we can't build them here. Oh, research labs. There we go. Ages ago, probably, knowing me. Let's, let's, uh, let's remedy that. There's so many things to- oh, there's two research labs on that- that planet. Dear god, apparently they're all on that one. Uh, oh god, this isn't even, uh... God, what's going on here? Uh, nothing we can clear? Okay. Yeah, I probably haven't kept up with the curve, to be honest. It wouldn't surprise me. Let's just wedge an extra research, at least one extra research thing on each planet. 
Nothing wrong with building three on a planet. I suppose we could do. I was more thinking of spreading it across several planets so it doesn't have them all in one place. So if there's something I suddenly decide I need, I've got space for it. Yeah, well, it's like, it's like I've said before, I, I expanded so quick, uh, I legit didn't know what I was doing. So, you know. Um, this one doesn't even have one. Do they have any crime? They do not have any crime. Let's replace that with a research thing. There we go. Uh, da -da -da. No, no, none there. Uh, another one there won't hurt. And one there. <laughs> now we have lots of research, theoretically. With luck. Uh, okay, how, how goes... The oh god, where is that thing going? Is that the giant thing? Oh yes, the enigmatic cache is just floating around. Some guy keeps walking down my street once or twice a day carrying a loudspeaker plate. I hate that. What, what do they call it? What, what do the cool kids used to call it? Sodcasting, wasn't it? Oh, that's, that's, that's what we called it in the south before. We called it sodcasting. I must admit the funniest the funniest thing I had in the way of in the way of sod casting. I, I was on the bus like we were like years ago. And um the We had some enterprising school kids in the back of the bus. And they were like like playing some music on their phone and trying to freestyle over the top of it. And it's like I'm having a conversation with my friends, and I have a loud-ass voice, and I'm kind of like, I'm just destroying this guy's volume. Every time every time they try and spit some rhymes, I'm just talking to my friend, and my voice is just killing it, and they keep stopping and having to restart. I'm like, why would you try and do creative, creative music stuff on a goddamn bus? P possibly one of the more loudest places you could possibly do it, and it was just like, okay, sure, whatever. Okay, who is this guy? Um, the fourth chamber. Those who wish to parlay with Zarklan must first find their way. There is in each chamber a hidden key that must be turned to proceed. The purpose of these challenges will soon be revealed. Okay, I have a funny feeling this is either a massive troll from a uh, ancient species, which is no longer here anymore, or it's going to explode. Or possibly both, actually. You know, I think both options are equally valid. Uh, what are they yelling at? Unemployment. Oh, okay. Oh, not another bloody... F oh, Jesus Christ. What is wrong with my people? Don't tell me. They're militarist xenophobes. Yes. Oh, suppress faction. Jesus Christ. So I play on Whack-A-Mole. Hello, here is our racist newsletter for the week. I was like, thanks. Suppressed. You need to become a dictatorship. <laughs> to hell with all these votes. Uh, honestly, my my society is a little bit at odds with each other. But that, that we are alien-loving militarists. It's like, hug me or else. <laughs> We're a little, we're a little confused on our, uh, uh, you know, processes a little bit. Uh, what's this? Senate now in session. Okay. Form Galactic Council. Why are the Jackley? Oh, that's the Repeal Guardian Angels Act. Okay. That's fine. I was thought, thought that was the Galactic Council one. That, that's fine. The Jackley, the only ones against it. That's quite funny. Uh, actually, how are we doing with these guys? Can we... They're back at minus 15 again! Have Hitler hamsters. No! Okay, I don't think this is gonna work. I don't think we can form a federation with these guys, because... 
it's it's at minus 50 and because of the hive mind thing its base is minus 100 we can't actually increase that into the positive because we can't throw enough modifiers at it to make it work i think we've got like three guys operating on on improving relations and it's just not working hey major buzzer how's it going i don't know what else we could do with that because every time we get this this up i think minus 15 is the best we can manage which is kind of sucky friendly opinion i mean maybe if we get it to i don't know We've still got friendly gift greetings, that's fine. Released from Overlord early, that's fine. Border friction's at minus 150. Border friction? I thought we had something that mitigates border friction. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. All is chaos. All is chaos and bees. Right, we've still got unemployment on a couple of planets. Uh... Can't build any more districts, can't build any more things, and I assume these guys have nowhere else to go. Uh, these pops are not able to auto-migrate for the following reason. Automatic resettlement to other colonies is only enabled for slaves and non-sapient robots if a transit hub or a slave processing facility is present. SLAVE PROCESSING FACILITY?! Jesus Christ! Um... Yikes. Uh, oh, we've got some research labs on the on on the, on the way in. Uh, although this has already got one. Oh, I'm replacing one. Okay, whatever. I don't know. Uh, there's a hole in the middle of Jackley territory, the size of a hamsterian hovel. Of course, you have border friction. That is true. Uh, also, there's a wormhole there. <laughs> Yes, we are we are surrounding them on all sides and we have a giant we have a giant uh, uh squish in the middle there. Um I wonder if we can nobble that from them, because then we can link up the wormhole. Actually wait, no, we need that system because that's the only thing that's connecting us to over here. So we can't give them back because we need we need we need Una because we need the wormhole. <laughs> So we can't actually get rid of that. Eesh. It's fine. Everything is fine. Right, okay, that's being worked on. What about Bosnikar? That's got a slot free. Okay, what are we building here? Research labs. Uh, We could build more research labs. Even more research labs. Okay. So what's going on here? Are they still... Are, they, are these guys still getting crushed? Oh, wait, hang on a second. What's happened there? Okay, so by the looks of things, the Watchers have, like, given the systems back, which is kind of annoying. Um, So there must have been some, either that or they've, they've, they stole it back while they weren't looking? I don't quite know. Uh, leader retired. Commander Phoenix II served the Empire for 90 years. Retired at the age of 131. Blimey, okay, I need a new commander then, clearly. Uh, no, it's leaders, isn't it? Here we go. Uh, yep, there we go. Uh, what do we have? What are our options here? Brock, son of Mig. Who's a butcher? Lovely. Adrimga who is uh, a unifier. Okay. Or... Noga, son of Nag. These are None of these are military... Uh, <laughs> military things, but never mind. Working on some of the vassal states. Uh, the funny thing is, Roach Mogul, I don't think it's going to fall apart. Um, because... The uh, the Watchers didn't colonize it. They basically ran roughshod, destroyed all the the stations, and then they're re they're rebuilding here. So I don't actually think it diminished their um, power that much. 
uh, I think it was just a wrap on the, uh, it was kind of like a wrap on the, wrap on the knuckles, I think, because they're still doing fine. A minor genocide, I think. Uh, you can check their infrastructure and pop, you see what the Fallen Empire did to them. Uh, don't know how to do that. How do we do that? What, like a war report or something? I don't know. Yeah, they're not at war with the... They're not at war with the, um... Ugh. The bird people. So... Yeah, what's going on there? Uh... Well, we haven't got anyone spying on them at the moment, so I don't really know. What have we got? Uh... I think they just they've just given up on the idea, honestly. To see what damage these guys took uh when the the bird people gave them a slapping. But I don't think it's uh I don't think it's immediate, immediately obvious. Yeah, they've got a truce. They've got a truce until 2359. Okay, so somebody must have somebody must have offered a truce, which is uh, kind of annoying. Oh well. Wait, wait, hold on. Ancient mining expansion barge, aggressive drone expansion fleet. Mm, okay. Yeah, that 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 didn't that didn't hurt their fleet power. I think I know exactly what they did. So they let they they let the Watchers beat up the planets, but because the Watchers don't colonize, they moved all of their fleets into um here and they didn't actually fight them in open combat so they didn't lose any fleet power which is very clever they basically ran away and obviously they're going to have infrastructure problems with the with the stuff that they lost but because they don't colonize it the watchers won't colonize anywhere um they just pegged it 50 more years yeah probably uh, all the, yeah, I don't know. This is fine. This, this is fine. <laughs> Everything is fine. Uh, what are these guys upset about? Uh, more unemployment? No, that's fine. We're building stuff. 50 more years till endgame? Life form I thought it was, was that, I thought that was 2,500, not 2,400. Life form encountered. Maybe it is. I've got no idea. Um, that's the Jackley. Okay, that's good. Ugh. Yeah, that was interesting. I think they just decided to give these guys a telling off and then ran away. Oh, 2,500 is the end year. 2,400 is when the end game begins. Oh, okay. It'll be fine. Uh, right, what have I got a lack of? <clears throat> I've got a lack of minerals. Uh, I'm just gonna flog some of these. What we get? Oh, not very much. That was probably not worth it. Uh, maybe I don't know, something like that. You can play after 2,500. What I imagine we'll probably do, we'll probably, we may well see this to the, out to the bitter end, and then because uh, I'm, I'm plotting for season two at the moment. So we, we may well see this out to the bitter end, one way or the other, and uh, and see what happens after that. Okay, interesting. I don't know what's going on with the Reavers. I'm puzzled. Because they should have steamrolled the Watchers by now, but they really haven't. Oh, hello, what's this? Need to remind the design of the Swalfin Empire. <laughs> yeah. How many research labs did I build? Many. Quite a few. Uh no, I'm not spending all my minerals again. Uh this is this is fine. Bulk. <laughs> God, protein 
protein powered dolphins. It's terrifying. Um I don't know where the planetary capital is. Oh wait, is that planet that their planetary capital? I think it is. Gold is the planetary capital, isn't it? Blocker clear. Do you know what? We could probably get in here and smash this, but then that's immediately gonna put us bordering the uh the other lunatic lot. And they might not take kindly to that. But then that means they'll be a, 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 mm. I'm sure we probably could declare war on them, to be honest. For the 50th time. That's not bordering anything. Oh, that's a good point. That is a good point. It's actually it's actually isolated. <laughs> okay. Uh well they have no military ships there. Okay, they do have a invasion fleet, but I don't think that's gonna be a big issue. I think we can handle that. Right, should we declare war on these guys again? And watch as their incredibly tiny fleet can't do anything against us, because uh, th that'll be fine. Um, in fact, I might actually split off a uh, spare fleet and have them sit there. Claim the systems to take their lunch money. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. The amount of times we've tried to wipe these guys out. Uh, there we are. I love how they're just kind of like... They're always smack-talking, even though we, we've absolutely got them over a barrel. It's hilarious. Claim their systems first. Uh, oh, I could make a claim. Oh, we have no need to claim the systems of major threats. So the exterminators are considered a major threat. So it's just like... that they, they are literally like, we have no problem uh, sort of <laughs> getting rid of them. They, they are considered an existential threat, which is kind of funny. Um, oh, fuck it, let's do it. I declare war! End threat. Yes. Yeah, math. Uh, as you can see, oh, I'll show you in a second. Um... Yeah, th this is this is now much easier to scroll through. Yeah, exactly. Um, and a lot of the, the, the there's a nice little pause bar there, and and a lot of it it's it's much better uh, laid out, much better. See, look, the war exhaustion thing is up here rather than lurking down here like it used to. Um, okay, I best kick these guys' asses, hadn't I? What do we got here? We have. I think that's going to be sufficient. So let's just double check here. Oh yeah, wow, that's, that's, wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Uh, that's not gonna be a problem. Yeah, you see, they're hostile, but I don't think that, that they don't think they can do anything. I think my, my space station will destroy them. Research complete. I wonder if the Jackley are gonna get involved. Actually, I could have just hop over the border and give them a kicking now, actually. Because what have they got there? Uh, 2,000, oh, okay, they've got a 2,000 strong... Uh, uh, thing there. I may need to send slightly more than that. Let's send that over there. Because we're not going to need it down here. Because they're completely defenseless. <laughs> oh, okay, what's going on here? Let us end this once and for all. You don't know how right you are. Uh, UI mods are permanent part of my mods. What did I just write? I, 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 I got the gist. I got the gist. <laughs> I, I knew what you meant. I knew what you meant. Right. Uh, physics research. Well, that came around quick. Okay. This is, this is going faster. Uh, oh, we're still doing flesh is weak. Otherwise we could have had battleships by now. Oh, well. Right. What do we got? Uh, unlocks building research complexes. That might be an idea. Is that an upgrade? Oh, no, exotic materials labs. Research station output. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Seven months. Yeah, sold. <laughs> Good point. Good point. Oh, yes, admirals. Yes, that's a good shout. 
Uh, we'll wait until this lot of 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 uh, congregated, and then uh, we'll do that. Have I got a spare one? Can I merge this one? Oh, I can merge this one. Let's do that. That's gonna like that's gonna make my life much easier. There we go. Right. Oh, we got a spare one. Uh, yes, we do actually. Oh god, we have so many spare ones. That's fine. What does he do? Resilience? Oh, that's fine. Uh, what about over here? Uh, we'll wait until the other ones catch up, and then we'll go from there. Yeah, it's only seven months, though. It's it's a short one. Come on, I want to destroy the goat people. Blocker cleared. Uh... Wait, did I not move these guys? I thought I moved these guys. Huh? Who does want I move then? Oh, what's this? Hostile fleet present. Oh wait, wait, whoa! Oh, they pulled a cheeky. They pulled a cheeky. I didn't notice this over here. That's fine. We can fix that. That's actually a half decent fleet they've got there. Whoops. Let's head them off at the pass. That's an idea. Watch as my empire collapses due to poor management and not knowing where the entrance points were. That'd be hilarious. No, no, no. I don't want all of them to go there. Oh, it's, it's working on it. Right, it's a very slow fleet. Right. Station under attack. Uh, that's not going to last long because that's a really crap station, uh, which I neglected to upgrade. Uh, so we're going to lose that temporarily. Oh dear. Didn't think that through, did I? Didn't think that through. Oh, that's fine. Handled. <laughs> My fleet turned up and they walked out. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> That must have been a relatively quick fleet. Uh, yeah, it's mostly Corvettes, that's why. <laughs> My rapid response team dealt with it, no problem. Uh, right, are we ready to, to start grabbing stuff? I think we are, let's do it. Uh, is everyone still there? I think the chat thing went quiet again. The, the chat thing broke, which it does tend to do from time to time. Chat tends to break from time to time. Uh oh right yeah okay can we merge this we can't merge this good can we have a leader uh what does he do oh it's governor oh, that works charge oh shepherd's still there that's good right where's my spare invasion fleet I could do with that um do I have a spare invasion fleet I really should. I've probably got hundreds of them floating around somewhere. Uh, wait, what's that? Oh, that's Jackley. That's fine. Uh, where are you guys? There. That's miles away. Uh, there must be a nearer. There must be a nearer one. Uh, there. Are you near a wormhole? You're near a gateway. Uh, I'm sure I had one floating around back there somewhere. Okay, I'll tell you what, it probably won't take too long with the gateway. Uh, let's head over there. Oh yeah, gateway, there you go, nailed it. Uh, yeah, no relic, that's fine. Oh, <laughs> unpausing often helps. Right, I see I have a one-sided ass-kicking contest this is going to be. Fly, Hostile my pretties! And it's gone. Nope, not quite. Now it's gone. <laughs> Hostile fleet engaged. Oh, uh, that's another one, I guess. Yeah, that's that's good. The, wow, this 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 should be short. Yep, gone. And oh my god, look at the amount of exotic energy being flung around here. There are purples. There are blues. There are all manner of things. It's not going well for them. Research complete. Okay, handled. Uh, they've just launched a colony ship from there. That's quite funny. Uh, timed project uh, research. Ooh. 
Zero G Laboratories. That didn't take too long. Uh, what else we got? Uh, Positronic AI research speed, but my researcher's upkeep is higher. Hmm. Versus. What else we got? Uh, advanced combat rolls. Zero point reactor. That sounds fun. Uh, shield hardener. Shield hardening plus fifteen percent. Thirty-seven months. That's one hundred and eight months. Oh, so many choices. Um, hmm. Tactical decision making in the field. That sounds fun. Yeah, why not? Right, now we need to follow this up with an invasion fleet so I can start nicking their stuff. Oh, that's a good point. That was more research stuff, wasn't it? Ooh, technology, there we go. Oh, yeah. Fair point. Right, uh, my, my, oh, my invasion fleet's already there, holy crap. Well, they didn't, they didn't hang around long. Right, what's the defenses of this place? Uh, do, 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 do. right, it is, nope, that's a mining station. Wait, did they, did they, did they not, oh, colony. Nope, that's a, that's a, that's an anomaly, that's not what I wanted. Uh, what do we got here? 616, I think we're okay. Also, my lot are much scarier than theirs. Uh, a thousand. Might lose a few, but fuck it. Right, do I have a spare science vessel? Special? Spare science vessel that could hum and hoover that up because uh, free tech is best tech. Uh, where are all my science people? Oh my god, they're miles away. Uh, oh, you're excavating something. Okay. Uh, science. You're busy. You're not busy. Um, research projects and system. There we go. Oh, it's gone six o'clock. I need to have my break fairly soon. <laughs> Look at them run. That's quite funny. Uh, right, this isn't a colony, so that's okay. So we need to uh, up the defenses of that one. Even though, actually, that probably won't matter. Uh, diplomatic insult. Oh no. Our reputation with the people that hate us has declined. Uh, traditions available. Still haven't got the uh, flesh is weak yet, so what have we got here? Building upkeep and district upkeep, or... I think, yeah, that's a no-brainer. Let's go with that one. Uh, right, I think we'll press on, because I don't think we're going to face any serious military issues here, so we may as well just crack on. Uh, oh, here we go. Archaeological event pending. This this should be good. This should be good. Okay, we're going to see what's going on here, and then I'm going to have a break. The lever was concealed in the roof. The fifth chamber is more alien writing. There is none. The challenges are as meaningless as these words. That is my lesson. I am Zarklan, the pawn. Swept along by the currents of history against my will. Proceed and an audience should be yours, should one still be of interest. This is not going to go well. Oh, okay, there's one more. I I bet that's going to be a massive troll. I bet you. <laughs> okay, considering the speed that fleet got there, I'm tempted to go and get my Uber invasion fleet and set it up here. Because that did not take very long. It's a fun one. Okay, nobody spoil it for me. Nobody spoil it for me, but I bet it's amusing. Okay. Uh... Oh, this is all their invasion fleets. It's not going to help. And their invasion fleets have nowhere to go. Oh god, it's all kicking off. All the buttons! Uh, one of our armies is involved in an invasion. That's fine. 
oh, this is not going to be a problem. Nope. That's that not even a problem. Unsurprisingly, my giant army of terminators has crushed the goat people. This is this is fine. Right. Uh time to project, that's fine. Idle leaders, relic activation, that's good. Fully expecting him to be dead inside. Yeah, he's just he's just sat there. Like, nope, sorry. I died a while back. You know. Okay. Um secured. Oh, oh god, what's going on now? Everything's going off. Invasion over. We have successfully invaded Turakab Colony. Cool! Uh, I could probably do with a spare invasion fleet to take their capital, to be honest. wonder what happens if I take their capital. It probably moves back up to the north, doesn't it? Uh, let's see what happens. Right, hold on. Uh, invasion over. Good, that's being rebuilt. That's fine. This is probably in a complete mess. Oh, actually, it's not too bad. <laughs> that was surprisingly bloodless. Holy shit. Right, okay. I'm going to put in a manual save there because... Uh, um, I need a break. Bye-bye, goats. Okay, let's make sure that's actually saved. Which it has. Um, so I'm gonna have a break for 10 minutes or so. Oopsie doopsie war crimes, yeah, exactly. Uh, grab yourselves a drink, have yourselves a stretch, things like that. I'm gonna do the same, uh, and I'll catch you on the other side of this. We're fine. Everything is fine. As always, fashionably late. Honestly, I'm... <laughs> I was, I was thinking to myself the other day that maybe I should just do away with a break timer. What do you guys think? Do you guys find the break timer handy? Because half the time I miss it anyway. <laughs> if people find it handy, I'll leave it. But um, half the time I don't get back in time anyway. But there we go. Okay. Where were we? I'm going to have some biscuits and tea. Uh, switching to decaf as it's quite late in the day. Okay. There's lots of lovely tech we can hoover up here. To the void. I know. One of these days I really should look at um, remotely interesting things for channel points, but I, c I can never come up with any cool ideas. Which is why I put the channel point abyss there, because it's somewhere for you to fling them all. Okay. So, uh, we've already nobbled that. Where's our invasion fleets got to? I could do with one of those turning up at some point. That'd be great. Actually, wait a minute. If those are only actually... No, I'm gonna actually get a bootleg round here, and I'm gonna invade here instead. What have they got for defenses here? 986, that's actually half decent. Okay, we may need a couple of invasion fleets then if we're going to make it work. Oh, in fact, here is a second invasion fleet. That's handy. Nope, I'm changing changing your direction. But the game decided to autosave. We're going to make damn sure we finish them off down here first. Steal their stuff and then just like sequentially keep following, just sequentially keep them in check. Uh, that's going to be more than enough. Oh, okay, it's already happened. Uh, wait, where's this? Oh, here. We need to watch this firsthand. This is always fun. All right, don't throw biscuits at keyboard. Did they run away? I think they ran away. I don't actually think they actually put up a fight. One of their planets is spitting out armies. Uh. Hey, Moon Eyes, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Uh, I don't think they're spitting out armies. 
uh, Frostpunk 2 will be out and you can freeze to death. I have never actually, um, I didn't play the first one. Hey, Perpetual DM, how's it going? Yes, we are slugging it out. We're, we're having trouble bringing the, bringing the slugs around to our side, to be honest. Um, but we're doing our best. How can you not have? <laughs> I just didn't didn't end up on my radar, really. Uh, what's this invasion fleet look like? Rubbish. Yeah, their invasion fleets are not very scary. Uh, that's another favor from the Jackley. That's good. How's how are they? What is their? Oh, oh, oh. Nope. Still minus sixteen. And we're at war, so never mind. Can't form a federation when you're at war. Ooh, Rogue Trader. How are you getting on with Rogue Trader? Mm. Come on, I need invasion fleets down here. Oh. You're right, that's just... They, they just keep launching invasion fleets. That's That's quite funny. And I keep shooting them, which is very amusing. A commercial pact. Uh, uh, no, I can't. Oh, because I'm at war, I think. Oh no, it says, They're a gestalt consciousness, they cannot integrate with other societies. So apparently I can't. I picked the worst species to try and... Yeah, they don't know what money is, exactly. I picked the worst species to try and ally with, but, you know, it kind of makes sense on paper. Well, not to them it doesn't, apparently. Uh, right, we're gonna, uh, keep this as a backup fleet here, I think. Yeah, otherwise I imagine that the hive mines would be too, uh, too beneficial for what they are. I mean, honestly, I think we could just keep going, usually if we don't take the systems over. Analyzed. We'll just start smashing everything. Right, where's that other Hostile invasion fleet? fleet? Nearly there. This is gonna be another... Yeah, okay. This, this, their cap, their planetary capital just keeps... Oh no. Okay, so for those of you who were here for a couple of streams ago, I clicked the wrong button for this. And the the uh, race that was in charge of it um, exploded. So I'm going to click on the right one this time. <laughs> which is infiltrate and de-escalate. Not, there's no further need for espionage, which uh, they do need to be further apart. Yes. Also, I need to read more. Uh, reading more would probably be a good idea. But honestly... I, I want this guy, I want this guy on a t-shirt or something. I, I have dubbed him the Panic Hedgehog. I think he is meant to be Hedgehog-esque, but every time there's something terrible happens, it's like, ah, Panic Hedgehog. And I, I just, I don't know. I love him. He's great. Okay, covertly infiltrate and de-escalate. That is what we're going to do. Yes. We don't want them blowing themselves up like the other lot did. Because it's just bad for business. Hostile station engaged. Okay, hostile station engaged and immediately destroyed. Good, good, good to know. Handled. So fast I didn't even have a chance. Oh no, wait, no, we haven't actually taken it over yet. Now we've taken it over. There we go. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. All hell panic hedgehog. Yeah, I know exactly. I think you check the mouse over click, which is... Yes, that is exactly what happened. Um, I was looking for a... For a... Um... Oh, it's the fish and chip van outside. Every every Monday at about half past six, we have a fish and chip van that has a, a, a bell on the outside of it, like an ice cream van, but it's fish and chips. It's hilarious. I was sat there, I was like, why am I hearing a bell? And it's 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 outside. Uh, yeah, I, I I thought that it didn't matter which one I clicked on, and uh, yeah, it was really funny. Yeah, they, they I think they, they roll around, it's like, I think it's like every other Monday, I think. 
and uh, one of these days we're gonna we're gonna flag them down and have some but um but yeah where i live there's a canal boat that does wood cooked pizza oh that sounds epic that sounds really epic uh, a whiskey van for adults, like an ice cream van, but with whiskey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I could see that. Um, suddenly, the levels of alcoholism in this uh, in this place suddenly went up. And another one that does ice cream, yeah. These are all good ideas. I'm on board with these. Uh, let's just keep going. I love the fact the fleet I've chosen to carry out this devastation is called Bollocks. That is great. That is absolutely majestic. Uh, what's this? A resolution has been passed. Uh, they've repealed. Oh, they've repealed the Guardian Angels Act. Okay, good to know. This they, they keep spewing out invasion fleets, and and I keep shooting them. This is this is really quite funny. Hostile station engaged. We really need to get rid of this uh, place as fast as we can. Where's my other invasion fleet gone? Or is that all of them together? Oh, that is all of them together. Right, that's 4,000. I think that's going to work. Right, where's the colony? Suprag colony! Here we go. Uh, no, I wish to... Oh, what there? No, I wish to land armies. Why didn't that work? Oh, well, that works too. Oh, is that what you're doing? I think that's what you're doing. Right, this should be brief. Or are they just in orbit? I think they're just in orbit. Land? Land armies, there you go. Having a moment there. I don't think it would be legal. Yeah, probably not, no. <laughs> yeah, you can't just can't just randomly tool around doling out uh doling out whiskey. No, it's true. License for a travelling bar van. Actually, believe it or not, I think they might sell beer. I think that van sells beer. Don't quote me on it. Planetary invasion begun. Right, let's see how long this is going to last. Uh, 5,552 versus 991. Uh, I'll wait. And... Available. Nearly. Nearly. Admittedly, them ringing the fucking bell non-stop is a bit awkward. Right, we stole the colony. Nailed it. Right, that's our planetary capital gone. Maybe you can get a license for it. Yeah, that's that's a good point. Uh, Okay, how are we doing? We are doing fine. We are backing these... They, right, they had to relocate their capital to there. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Are these guys on passive? Why am I set them to passive? That's really silly. Right, let's keep going. Right. Uh, now the Istran Reavers are talking shit at us, but that's okay. Uh, council agenda available. No, it's not. You're lying. Yeah, you, you, you probably need a permit for all of these things, more than likely. Uh, ooh, that's an orbital habitat. Oh, interesting. Now, uh, the Wasari might take it. That's 63%. That's not great. Um, or I could populate it with robots. Or humans. I apparently I have pet humans. I don't know how I've got pet humans. Um, but apparently I have. Um My maintenance housing uses mass produced and by size and pops. Which are the ones I I changed? These ones, I think. What would be the benefit of, of colonizing it with robots? Uh hey Mark of the Dragon! Migration treaty. Yeah, they might have been they might have been like a uh uh, an already owned race or something. Well, we've got the we've got the Wasari who is sixty three percent. They're okay with. They prefer a savanna, but this is an orbital habitat, so 
it's not really anything. It's just an orbital habitat. So, or I could just send robots. I could have a robot colony. Which would be quite funny. Uh, I don't know if... Wait, yeah, actually, I should be able to... Uh, I don't think the humans... I don't have any trait points for the humans. I'm not sure. I'm going to colonize this with robots for a giggle. Um, Obrish or Prime? Oh, I don't know. Uh, Happy Robot Central Beep. That's what I'm calling it. Uh, and then on to the next one. And then that'll be them shoved out of here, which is good. Uh, and then I'm going to have to send my mass invasion fleet, which I can probably merge if I haven't already. Oh, they have merged. How useful. Um, to follow my other fleet, because uh, we've got some more colonies to take. This does put us... Um, now we're sharing a border with Reavers, which is bad. But this is fine. Also, we've got more upgrades to do, but I'm not doing that right now. I'm at war. I don't think upgrading things while we're at war is a good idea. Um, right, talking about species, let's have a look-see. Right, Empire species, humanoids. I have one trait point. I can I can mess around with the humans. Oh, no, I can't mess around with the humans for some reason. Oh, yes, I can. Create template. Sorry, this is still getting used to this new uh, UI thing. Uh, middling effort t-shirt designed for you in Discord. Oh, thank you very much, Mark the, Mark the Dragon. Uh, I haven't got Discord open at the moment because uh, it, 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 it's too many things to, to keep track of uh, while I'm streaming. I shall have a look after the stream. Thank you very much. That is very kind. Uh, why didn't that work? Did I do that already? Why did that not work? Oh, it just took forever. Okay, there we go. Ooh, D&D. Nice. I haven't played any role-playing games in ages. I have so many role-playing game books, it's ridiculous. Did you create Panic Hedgehog? Okay, all right, we've got to have a look at that. If you have created Panic Hedgehog, I need to have a look. Not that I'm ever actually going to be able to, to make a t-shirt out of it, but i got, I got to go look now. Okay, bear with. What, what do we got here? Ah, excellent, you have appeared in the... Uh, appeared in the Discord. Stellaris. <laughs> I like it. Oh, I like it. Oh, that's great. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can uh, I should be able to share that with everybody. Uh right, you should be able to see that. That is great. Thank you very much for that. <laughs> Panic Hedgehog. <laughs> it's the it's the tag team no one knew they needed. Uh Panic Hedgehog and Hamster of Wrath. Um, it's, it's the, uh, it, it's, uh, it was unexpected. <laughs> Thank you very much for that. Yes, incidentally, we have a Discord. Uh, if you go to the About page of the channel, uh, you can find our Discord there. Uh, I don't tend to put the link in the channel because we tend to get more bots that way. Uh, but if you are a humans, uh, you should be able to navigate your way to it. Um, I do, uh, uh real-time updates and, uh, notifications and stuff on there. Right, uh, where were we? Killing more goat people. Exterminating the exterminators, as it were. Right, this is good. This is all going well. Hostile station engaged. Uh, Hamster of Wrath and Panic Hedgehog, new on Cartoon Network this fall. <laughs> yeah. I want to make a gnome artificer in D&D 5.0, having make magic power armor mechs. Uh, have you ever heard of the uh, campaign setting of Eberron, Roach Mogul? I think that would be your jam. Because uh, if I remember Eberron, I don't know whether it actually still exists in 5e. Uh, that's quite a steampunky, steam s, steampunky, magical steampunk, whatever the, 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 the buzzword for that is. Steampunk and magic, magic punk. Uh, one of those things. All right, this is my massive invasion fleet, which is going to crush this tiny station as well. Station crushed, system mine. Um, oh, hello. Uh, Eberron is in 5e for dead set on using it. Oh, okay. I had a Warforged named Obsidian in a run of Eberron. This does not surprise me. This does not surprise me. 
Amster of Wrath and Panic Hedgehog makes me think of Danger Mouse and Pitfall. Crumbs, DM! <laughs> oh, brilliant. Do, 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 do. Uh, love it. Okay. Uh, following his recent sensor sweep of the Yanders system, Commander Noga, son of Nag, great name, has learned how to deploy his units to maximize their sensor range. Few fleet commanders possess the skill to carry out such complex maneuvers. Nice! Noga, son of Nag, gains the scout trait. Sublight speed plus ship. Wow, that's fucking amazing! Are they in charge of a fleet? If they're not, they should be. Or are they the people I'm using to kick everyone's ass? Uh, Noga, son of Nag. There's the fleet I'm using to kick everyone's ass. This this makes sense. <laughs> they are now good at ass kicking. Yeah, look at that. Everyone is great. Steam, magic, punk, politics, techno, magi, babble. Yeah, I, 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 I never. I kind of. Um, I found I existed roughly roughly about the same time I stopped doing role-playing stuff, but there we go. Uh, imagine a power suit like the Grey Knights, Dreadnought, but magic-powered, and there's a gnome in the baby carrier! Yeah, I, li I like the sound of that. That's, uh, that, that's, an, that's, that's a great, uh, great visual. Right, there's a tiny little system down there, we need to sort that out. Great to have admirals, they can get insanely strong. Yeah, I, I, I really need to make sure I can... I need to merge a couple of more fleets, which need upgrading again, because apparently we've discovered something I wasn't aware of. Right, uh, okay, we're going to have to pause the fight. We've got a problem. What have we got a problem? Low stability. Oh god, this is getting worse. How is this getting worse? Uh, it's an arid world. What's the population here? Uh... The Lochen? Am I grating? Robots? I don't know what's going on. Why are they... Is this... Where is this? Is this one I just liberated? That is one I just liberated. Okay, that's no, way, no wonder it's not stable. Um... Hmm. Is this because... Yeah, how do I fix this? <laughs> Help me, Obi-Wan! Uh, it's still live after all these years, uh, but Dungeons and Dragons Online. Oh yeah, I did have a brief, I did have a brief, uh, brief moment with D&D um, &D Online. Build bots and shitty planets. Yeah, I don't know why though, the population are mad at me. I don't quite know why. Oh, possibly the massive unemployment probably has something to do with it, which... Uh... Oh, they're migrating. Okay. That's actually not so bad. There is a lot of crime. Uh, can we fix that? <laughs> I may have to put a, a crime precinct in. Um, at the expense of something. Okay, they got robot assembly plot. Uh, po uh, wait, so they're building robots. Why is everyone mad at me? Criminal robots. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm puzzled. Oh. Okay, 46, 46 pops are Evandari. That's why. They they don't like me. That's probably why they're not very happy. Um, I don't actually know how to fix that. <laughs> It'll sort itself out eventually. Uh, yeah, let's 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 do that just in a short term, shall we? And see what happens. It's 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 rapid. Um, it's rapid expansion again. You know. Okay. Uh, right. Okay, they're attacking that. That should be over pretty quick. I I didn't check the numbers here, but I was fairly confident they wouldn't be able to stop me, and I was right. Oh, he's ch he's chasing chasing that science vessel clean out of the uh, system there. They've got nowhere to go. Though, apparently I'm having great trouble killing them. Nope, that's fine. Uh, we've taken that as well. Uh, right, where's my other... Inf where's my invasion fleet gone? Um, 
Where has my invasion fleet gone? Oh, there it is. Alright, it's on their way. Mimics joining our anti-demon army. Perfect. Consider yourselves knighted. I dug these Sir Wardrobe, Sir Footstool, and Sir Cultist's bed. <laughs> Robocop. Yeah, we, we had a touch of that. Hostile station engaged. Oh, okay. There's another one. Uh, where's this? Oh, it's the little one here. Yeah, okay. And we won. <laughs> oh, man. Absolute destruction. Okay, uh, two of our colonies not very happy. Oh, God. Yeah, okay. These are going to not be very happy because um, we literally just liberated them. So, liberated them. We invaded them is what we did. Uh, okay, once again, they've built double fortresses, which I don't think we need. Um, let's replace that with literally anything else. Like, I don't know, research labs. How about that? Uh, that's broken. Uh, demolish that. Oh, and we couldn't actually... Uh, oh, okay. Ah. Randomly pushing buttons. It'll be fine. Liberated. Yeah, that wasn't strictly true. That was invaded. Uh, not quite the same as liberated. Liberated implies they wanted to be... Uh, yeah, never mind. You know what I mean. <laughs> uh, right, actually, let's get those blockers out of the way first. Toxic kelp. No one likes toxic kelp. Well, somebody probably does, but not me. If there was a way of just putting these straight at the top, that'd be great. Maybe there is, but uh, that's how I'm doing it right now. We American all over them. Yeah, I was gonna say, the literally this race, the exterminators, are considered a a galaxy threat. That that is what they are considered as. I really need to reinforce this here. Um holy crap. Uh right, if you finish there, you have finished there. Right, let's get you over here. Because that is an entryway to our system. Uh is that the only one? No, there is another one there. We've relatively fortified that one. Uh, we also have a backup fleet here. Okay, that's handy. Toxic kelp makes really great slightly tangy sushi wrap. <laughs> oh, eesh. Uh, why pull the wool over the eyes? Is wool the best material for subterfuge? Well, the thing is, though, wool has holes in it, usually, doesn't it? If it's, like, processed wool, you can see through it. So, if, if you pulled wool, processed wool over your eyes, you'd be able to see through it. So, I always thought that was a bit of a weird thing. A ruined district. I wonder how that happened. Is it because I accidentally blew it up with some Terminators? The toxic people actually like the toxic kelp. That's a, that's a high likely thing there. Weapons of mass distraction. Yes, they did. They were very distracting. It's like we're, we're bottlenecking them up now. This is great. Right, where are you, invasion fleet? Are you on your way? Why is there only one of you? There was two of you a minute ago. Did I not merge the fleets? Um, well, what did I do wrong? Oh, no, it says 5k. That's got to be it. Uh... uh the, the blood, the, the Reavers have just made peace with the Exterminators, which is uh, kind of funny because now we're beating the brakes off them. So that's that's funny. They've suddenly realized they've got a bigger problem. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes, you do. Um, Right. OK, uh, let's go and invade here. Uh, or, or there, even. Right, have I got a spare side ship? Because we're leaving free free loot hanging around here. Um, science ship. Right, I don't know where you are. Oh, you're there. That's bloody handy. Go grab the stuff. Oh, look, free research. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the more I read about Falling Frontier, the more I can't wait till release. I think I vaguely may have seen a uh, 
trailer for that, I think? What I do wrong? Discover faster than light travel in a galaxy full of species. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Yeah. Slight chance of gluteal necrosis. <laughs> if their butts do... I was about to say, is that butt rot? Is that a very posh way of saying butt rot? I translated. If their butts do fall off, they can always get reattached. <laughs> New industry, cyber butts. Okay, here we go. This is this is probably very this is gonna be funny, I think. Pult, son of Sagu, found a hidden passage while excavating the ruins on I can't be asked to pronounce. The unexpected okay. Accelerated progress, that's good. Adds three three clues. Oh, they're still not there yet. They're getting there. They're getting there. Okay, we're still waiting for an audience with a crazy guy. Uh, we have lots of favors with the Jackley. Can we not leverage that with the pl Oh. Oh? Hang on. Form Federation. Acceptance minus 16, brackets 9. Potential favors. Oh! We could call in the favors! Once, we, once we're not at war, we might be able to call in favors to form the Federation. That could be funny. My expert espionage people at work there. Your scientists is of the goat race. That's interesting. Uh, yes, what happens? Uh, I'll show you. Um, so, uh, empire species. Yeah, here we go. So what's actually happened is, as we've taken over people's planets, um, their pops become our pops. So, for example, we, we found a planet that was full of the angry orc people, uh, so we made our own angry orc people. Or did we? I think we did. I don't... Actually, I may not have actually... I may have accidentally not actually converted them. I may have not converted the orcs. Let's convert the orcs. To the Korok High. There we go. That's actually our people. That's better. There you go. Genetic things. Uh, oh no, we're doing the flesh is weak. No, no, flesh is weak takes precedence. Anyway, we can genetically modify them anyway. So yes, we have orc people. We have the uh, Tendrakian slash Eleven Drakian. We have the Zulakako. We have the Yuri, the Yurien, or the Yurin, depending on which way you're looking at it. Uh, the Wasari, who were the uh, other guys. And uh, the Gotarians, and yeah. So if you take a planet over their populations, you, you end up with their their leadership people as well, so it's kinda nuts. Oh hello. It's because I grant full citizenship to all your enemies' races since you like people. Which comes in handy because they can populate places we can't, so it kinda works. Welcome to Cyberbutt's keynotes. <laughs> yeah, Cyberbutts. Yeah, I like it. So many zeodophobes actually helps you in a single effect. You're not facing any fawn federations. No, they don't want. Well, I say that. Oh. Uh. Oh dear. The lock and theocracy has been destroyed. Uh, I I felt a notice. I was busy. Oh dear. Rekthalar refugees from freeing from the Saiban High Kingdom have arrived on the Great Wheel. Okay, hang on, I need to, I need to, that, that's gonna, ah, yep, the pious Lockin people have gone, we've only got the Lockin mechanists. Now, the trouble is, when we say, oh yes, they're not unified, the Rekthalo and Fire Tribes basically own everyone round here. So it's not just them, it's, it's like, it's virtually all of the things here. Um, but interestingly, we have refugees. So that's interesting. It's trouble for unity. Uh, it doesn't appear to have caused issues so far. But who knows. Uh, right. We need to crush these guys. Okay, we've dealt with them down here, so that's good. Uh, my invasion fleet is heading that way. Refugees arrived. With a great wheel. Uh, fixes. Uh. Oh, they're, they're a vassal as well. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, this is bad. 
<laughs> Free pops. Yeah, at which point I imagine I'll suddenly have a massive unemployment problem, knowing my luck. Yes, I know it's got low stability. There's not much I can do about it right now. I'm working on it. I'm, I'm having a war. Yeah, that's fine. What's it say? Okay, more flavors. That's fine. Okay. Uh, where's my invasion fleet got to? It's on way. Oh, our project to modify thirteen pops and thirty-three planets to match the template has failed. Yes, that's because I accidentally didn't launch it. Never mind. I'm sure they'll be fine. Nothing bad came of that. I'm sure. Right, why am I hanging around here? I don't actually. I could just keep going. These guys literally can't stop me. See, this would be a very inopportune moment for the Istran Reavers to start uh, attacking us. That would be very bad. Uh, remarkably bad, in fact. Oh, in fact, there's a bunch of exterminators bound back here that Incoming I did fail to notice. Right, hang on. 8,000, 3,000. Okay, no, we can handle that. I'm glad I looked. Holy crap. No, wait, where are you going? No, no, no. I need you. Ah, no. Reverse. Reverse. There's a, there's a, there's a fleet forming there. We need to go kick it. Hostile station engaged. That's a weird way to say slowly and inconspicuously hemorrhaging. <laughs> yeah. Brain leak out ears. Yeah, every so often I have to take my, um... I have to take my headphones out and clear my brains out of it. You know, they're just leaking out. Favorite build was to imitate the bots of the Matrix and make batteries of every organic I conquer. That does sound quite funny. Yeah, like I said, we're, we're going to be uh, gearing up for... Um, when I eventually run this one into the ground, uh, we're kind of gearing up with a bunch of custom stuff for Season 2, which we are, I'm kind of organizing through the uh, Discord. So... Um, we're gonna sort of like have some have some custom player races. We're gonna have uh, we're gonna sort out the galaxy settings, maybe design a species, sort my own empire out, stuff like that, and then launch into season two vaguely knowing what I'm doing. So we'll see how that goes. Fake runs. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh wow, there's a lot of holy crap. This system is full of stuff that I'm about to steal. Uh, yep. Uh, successfully stolen. <laughs> they are now mine. Wow, this Lock is good. Oh hand. my god! Uh, well, that's done wonders for my economy. Because these guys have built orbitals. And they now all belong to me. That's great. Look at that. That's actually, I've just tapped out all my resources. I didn't even see they were there. Uh, that's a colony ship. Yeah, that ain't gonna work for that ain't gonna work out for you. Trust me. Uh, right. Uh, probably need to. Re well, I don't know about reinforcing this. Okay, that's at two thousand. That's fine. Um, can you kill that colony ship? That'd be great. Where is it? Is it? Does it just leave? Is it just sat there? Spaceport under attack. Uh. Oh, I've got a spaceport under attack. Have I got you on aggressive? Yeah, he's set to aggressive. Where did he go? Maybe he doesn't attack those. I don't know. Right, spaceport under attack. Uh. Oh, okay. Yeah, they managed. They they pulled a bit of a sneak, but that's okay. I saw it coming. I saw it coming. We've got time. I failed to notice they've actually got like a little. They've got like a little enclave down here, and I utterly failed to notice that. Which is a bit of unfortunate on my part. Uh, though I do also have a giant fleet here, which is not doing anything. So maybe that should head over there too. Five planets worth or more. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's ridiculous. Hey, Real Castle Gaming, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let me just give you a shout out there. Boo hey, nailed it in one. Elite Dangerous, awesome. Yeah, I haven't played Elite Dangerous in forever. Uh, Commercial Pact. Oh, hello. The Lock and Mechanists. Uh, wait, are these guys, these guys are trying to sell me something. This is great. 
Uh, speaking of, I've got to talk to you later. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> I think I've still got it installed. Can't remember. Uh, ever feel like your life is all about the have-tos and never about the want-tos? Here at Lock and Mechanists, we live for doing the things you don't want to, so you don't have to. Enter a commercial pact with us and maximize the meaningfulness of your existence. <laughs> oh, okay, this will increase the value of both Empire's trade networks. Grants us 19.98 and gives them 47. Ah, eh, why not? Why not? I mean, technically they're the enemy, but, you know, eh. Uh, right. Giant Angry Death Invasion Fleet. Go do work here. Uh, grab the stuff. Awesome. Yeah, this, this system here is uh, definitely a breadbasket system. Dear God, look at this. We've got orbitals for days. 70 bounties for 30 million. Yeah, it's it's ridiculous. Uh, but Bamboozle Ballet will back me up on this one. That's a mouthful. Bamboozle Ballet will back me up on this one. Um, it, you get all these like fancy missions to do things, and then basically the easiest way around it is to just um do bounties. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Right? Why can't I de build defense platforms? Because I don't have. Why have they got all these anchorages here? Communications jammer? Hydroponic. Right, one of these probably needs to be changed to a ship. Oh, no, no. Okay, shipyard. No, it can't be changed into a shipyard. Oh, I haven't taken this over yet, have I? I haven't actually technically. I don't think I've actually claimed ownership of the station yet. No, I haven't. Got ahead of myself. Right, where's this? Uh, where's this fleet that they were trying to? Whoops! Hello. Rising unemployment on Suprag Colony. That's probably one of the ones I literally just took. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, institute the increased benefits. Right, let's have a quick look while we're here. Uh, oh yeah, this is a bit of a mess, isn't it? Um, wait, they didn't build any city districts. Why didn't you build any city districts? Why are you like this, computer? Oh, we, we are working on it. Oh, the, I'm working on it. Leave me alone. I'm working on it. Bounties are like pulling one on bandits. Scanning ships, chanting, come on, big money. <laughs> I'm working here. Yeah, I know, exactly. Right. Uh, okay, where was our situation here? Uh, okay, I think they may have just... They may have just stole a system from me. Which is something I'm about to fix. Yeah. And then I'm going to wipe them out over here because uh, they were attacking us on a two-pronged a two -pronged mission, a two-pronged front, which is not good. Uh, yep, okay, we're invading. This is good. Where are we invading? It's not here. Or is it here? Oh, it is here. Ah, oh, there we go. 5,495 versus 176. I think we handled. Enemy planet secured. Nailed it. Right. Uh, what? Oh my god. Well, that's broken. Uh, energy grid. I'll demolish that. That's fine. Have they already got an energy grid or is there no energy grid? Oh, we can't have that one back because we broke it too hard. That's fine. Um, this is going to take forever to sort out, but at least they've already built stuff for me in a random fashion. Okay, so we took that. That's ours. That is now mine. This is mine. This is mine. Oh, this is mine. Uh, we may have to divert an invasion fleet back here. Uh, we only got... Can we split these? Oh, is it worth splitting them? Probably not. Uh Oh, they didn't take the planet. It's a habitat. Ah, okay. All right, cool. Right, this should be one-sided. 3,000 of theirs versus 8,000 of mine. Sure, let's see how that works out for you. Okay, they're putting up a better fight than I thought they would. I mean, probably my fleet comp is terrible. It's probably got something to do with it. Okay, there we go. That, that was a bit of a... 
<laughs> and then... Oh, it's a trade station. Okay, interesting. It's not an actual mi military station. Okay, that's fine. And then we go here and take this one back. Blocker cleared. <laughs> oh. And then possibly uh, colonize somewhere because I think that's... Uh, they can't colonize there for some reason. Man, we are absolutely beating the brakes off these guys. Okay. Next. Um... Oh yeah, got my invasion fleet. Let's send them in. Uh, I mean, it must be terrible. Your ships get wiped out of the sky. And then uh, some soulless machines descend from the sky and finish you off. It's like, wow. <laughs> it's got to be pretty humbling. Finally, we can wipe these guys out. Well, should I say we're going to wipe these guys out? If, they, in progress. if we get like a forced truce or something, that would really be annoying. Uh, hostile fleet. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. We can deal with that, I think. For me, it was Tuesday, indeed. Exactly. They shouldn't be a galactic threat. That's that's hostile fleet that's the mistake they've made. They shouldn't have been a galactic threat. So they really should know by now. Oh, what, what was that? Oh, damage output? Oh! It gives me an update. Uh, an, an, uh, 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 oh, nice. Okay. And... Did we win yet? Did we win yet? Did we win yet? Okay, that's... That, that actually probably stood up longer than most of uh, the things they have do. Uh, okay, that's good. That's good. Going well. Going well. Uh, invasion over. We've invaded somewhere else. That is now mine. Or in the process of being mine. That is mine. Uh, Commander Urian Septim served the Empire for 77 years, retired at the age of 120. Is that my uh, toast message? What's a toast message? I don't know what a toast message is. Uh, right, we're probably in the market for a new commander. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why it said, it said toast message. I don't, I don't know. Oh, recruitable leaders external. Okay, so what we got? Ulba, son of Merc. Well, he's a butcher, so we'll put him in charge of the uh, invasion fleets. Because, you know, that makes sense. Nice. <laughs> I'm not evil. You are. Right. Now, if I've taken... Have I not taken this colony yet? Or am I in the process of invading it? I think I'm in the process of invading it. No, no, I'm not, actually. Why do I not own this system? Why do I not own this system? I'm confused. Debris analyzed. Oh, because the... Uh... Uh, station the station hasn't attack. flipped yet, or has it? Wait, they're still producing. They're still producing things. What, what, what's going on here? Uh, Enthrus mandate. No, that's fine. Benefits is fine. There's a planet. Yeah, I've just invaded it. It says it's mine. Oh, there's another planet. Son of a bitch. I failed to notice there was another planet. I was like, how are they how are they still producing colony ships? It's like, what is going on? <laughs> I'm so confused. Planetary invasion begun. There we go, that's better. One of my AI alarms might manage to headshot a victor, barely damaging it. Oh dear. Yeah, it's it's always very disappointing when you get like an NRM, an LRM or something, ping something in your head and it's like headshot, and I'm like, that, that's a missile, that doesn't count. Right, let's have a look. Uh, yep, this is going to be over pretty soon. 
and handled. The end of the Avandarian Avandarian exterminators. The star nation known as the Avandarian exterminators has been destroyed by its enemies. How this will affect the climate of the galaxy remains to be seen. Handled. Uh, which now means there's a huge expanse of uh, unexplored space there, and now we are bordering another bunch of uh, angry, xenophobic, crazy bastards. So you know, it's it's day ending in Y. Okay, that means we're not at war anymore. Uh, I've got too many blue star bases again, but that's okay. I'm sure there's some probably some planets I can nick as well. Right, so, is this... This is not connected to anything here. Or not connected to anything dangerous. So, I think maybe we're going to leg it back down here. Because there's an entry point there and an entry point there. If they're liable to have a go at us, that would be the avenue they would do it. So, let's keep uh, an invasion fleet on standby there. There's a science vessel, which I think is not doing anything. Go do all the things in this system, because there might be some free research floating around as well. Oh, hello. Oh, okay. Is this the guy that's been hiding behind the locked door? Okay, here we go. After a grueling search, the last key was discovered. A gigantic throne holds the slumped and motionless form of a large humanoid figure. Yep, there you go. Somebody, somebody, somebody uh, called that. Some glyphs at the bottom of the throne simply read, Zarplan, at your service. Uh, the body is too far gone to be moved, but the head is surprisingly well preserved given its age. Not wanted to leave empty handed, some archaeologists use a laser cutter to remove the head. Relic found, head of Zarplan. Intriguing. Uh, oh. Oh, hello. Uh, the Watchers are talking to us. This is bullshit. It's a really good relic. Oh, okay, streamer luck. <laughs> so, uh, I'm worried now. What does this mean? It's true then. You found the legendary tomb of Zarklan. The evidence is irrefutable. I understand that you have the Prophet's head in your possession. Then, as was foretold, the chosen of the great Zar clan have at least been last been revealed. As would have been Zar clan's wish, any unsettled holy worlds near our space are yours to do with as you wish. There are also many devout pilgrims on Celestial Throne to be generally honored to fight under your banner. We've just converted. We've just converted the angry parrot people. That's absolutely fucking hilarious. Uh So does that mean they're our friends now? No, they're still dismissive of us. But now they won't kill us if we start settling. So if we could kick these guys off the Oh my god. If we could kick the 4 8 12 16 enormous mining fleet posse uh off that thing, we could we could take it. Look at the relic. Uh... Oh, how do I do relics again? Uh, is it discoveries? Oh, God! Head of Zarklan. Act... <laughs> oh, my God. Activation costs. 3,000 unity. Allows the settling of holy worlds. Active effects. Summons a small fallen empire fleet. Every activation will increase the size of the fleet. Oh, wow. That's big. That is big. And it's only 3,000 unity. We're having that. We are yours. Point us towards your enemies. Zarklan wills it. Zarklan wills it. <laughs> oh, my God. What do we just end up with? Uh, Zarklan's Pilgrims, 8.9 thousand, uh, two ba a Battlecruiser and three Zealot class. <laughs> I call bullshit, I want that relic. That's, uh, well, um, where are they? 
at the home fleet. Nice. Uh, we're going to have a use for you guys in a minute. You're going to help us boot these guys off the holy planet, which is actually very, very in keeping. Uh, so what we need to do, in fact, we probably need to... S oh, oh, wait, we've got an enormous fleet down here as well. 12,000, that's good. So we're actually going to use them uh, and kick the crazy mining people off of there. Probably with a few more vessels, actually. We need to to form a very large fleet, because that's a, that's a lot. That's a lot of angry shit. <laughs> Cue the Chocobo theme when the Parrot Fleet turns up. Da, 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 da. We're gonna kill you. We're going to eat your face. You know, that kind of thing. Um, okay, right. So we've destroyed the, uh, uh, goat people. This is good. This is good. No more goat people. Like, no more tears, but slightly different. Yes, I, I can settle. I can settle the holy worlds. Yeah, so like I've got this one here. Unfortunately, it's got a shit ton of angry space drone things. If you keep the fleet alive and you get it early game, it's bullshit. <laughs> yeah, I imagine if you found it really early on, uh, it would be a little bit terrifying. Uh, but what we're gonna do? We're gonna muster here, and then we're gonna kick these guys off here and take this planet, because we can do that. Uh, I'm gonna need more ships. <laughs> I, I totally feel like I'm gonna need more ships because at some point these guys are gonna kick off, uh, and I'm not gonna have enough stuff to deal with them. Uh, oh no, hang on, I've still got these guys floating around. That's good. Every time you activate the relic, the fleet gets bigger. Hold on. It still only costs. Oh. Can I activate another relic while well, relic active cooldown? Oh, okay, so it's got a cooldown. It's got a uh, 3600 time unit cooldown. Okay, that's fine. That's quite funny. <laughs> mustard formation, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, mustard. Yes, we're mustarding. Not mustering, which is what I, I, I tried to say. We're, we're mustarding. Very different. Oh, and also I've got a spare 20,000 uh, powered fleet here who are waiting for the Rectalorans to do something, and yet they haven't. So let's not worry about that. Let's also congregate uh, wherever it was we were congregating here. Yes. Which actually does kind of leave this place a little bit undefended, but it'll be fine. I am salty. I, I didn't honestly get that impression, Math, at all. <laughs> I am umami. It's, it's streamer luck. It's streamer luck, hamster luck, whatever you want to call it. All of the above. Uh, okay, right, we probably need to look at our colonies. Our colonies are probably in ruins. I'm going to have to have a lozenge. My voice is going. Good lord. Oh, that tea is cold. That's heresy. Right, excuse me while I have a uh, thing. Out of your way to grab plants with archaeology. It's very true, I did. Oh, is that like a, a factor as to why that would have happened then? Or is it just random? But yeah, that's a that's a powerful uh powerful artifact right there. Planet in revolt. Oh, my planet is in revolt. That's not good. Um I've owned this planet for like five minutes. Okay, 0.1. How do I fix this? Uh, distribute amenities? Yeah, there you go. Let's try that. There are only so many digs, and digs are the main way of getting relics. Oh, I see. So I just got very lucky. Also, presumably very lucky that somebody else didn't dig it up before I did. Because that would have been bad. Oh god, there is much colony stuff to be done. You got the dig so you make your own luck. Ah, oh, okay. I can't do anything here. This is all already kind of done. 
Robot assembly ceased. Population growth discouraged. Mm. Wait, what's the problem here? Oh, it's just unemployed. That's not so bad. Uh, right. This is in trouble. Um, this is getting worse. <laughs> this is getting much worse. I have too much housing. Uh, oh god, which one was it? Um, Etris? I've got too much housing. Uh, how do I, how do I unhouse people? <laughs> Don't fill the computer, digs and explores. Uh, no, that's true, it probably doesn't. I don't think I can do much about that. Or was it this one? I think it was this one. Converts three blue sectors. Uh... Oh! So, um, in my 50-something hour, I didn't realize you can replace districts. <laughs> I, I, I didn't know you could replace districts, but apparently you can. Um, okay, let's say uh, agriculture and generator? Or maybe an industrial one? Oh, yeah, look at that. Ah. And there we go. Don't need food. Uh, oh well. It's a start. Scum and villainy on Pug Renan colony. Okay, this is probably because we just literally just taken it off. Criminal underworld modifier. Right, let's have a look at that. I've been here five minutes. This is not my fault. Oh, why have they got so many bloody strongholds? Oh, I've done nothing with this planet. That's why. Uh, right. Uh, a crime precinct would probably be a good start. Um... Housing, maybe? Some districts? That might be a good idea, too. You're very on Moss Eisley, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm sure there's probably, like, there's probably a couple of menus I've never actually seen, even now. Well, especially with the, uh, the UI, uh, uh, mod, I now probably don't know where anything is. <laughs> uh, can I clear any of these? No. Uh, yeah, this isn't going so well, but that's okay. Right, Enthrus Mandate. I don't quite know how to deal with this. They hate me. The population of this planet actively hate me. Because they're Evandari. I mean, is that going to pass? I have no idea. Uh, they were building strongholds. And so oh, that makes sense. Yes, I was, I was, I was crushing them as I went, which makes sense that they would, uh, they would do that. That's a good point. Yeah, I wonder maybe I should recruit. Have I got like any armies or something here? Oh, I do have armies. They're all Evandari, though. So <laughs> that's that's okay. That's that's this is fine. Um. Oh, situation brew. Planetary Revolt. Uh, oh, that's gone in reverse. That's good. That's good. We like it when uh, <laughs> revolutions reverse themselves. Yeah, the, these are all the... Uh, these are all the places I've literally just taken over, so they're probably in an absolute fucking state. Uh, what's that? Zero-G Research District. Ooh. Bosh. Uh, right, okay. Uh, we don't need that many, uh, fortresses. Um... What we don't have any here is research, either. Um... Who 
food, hollows, energy. We'll figure that out in a minute. Give Ham the Rebellion mod. There's a Rebellion mod? Oh, wow. That would be absolute chaos, probably. Oh, wait, there's a bunch of stuff here. Actually, yeah, go, go research these projects, because that's free stuff. Never turn down free stuff. Um, oh god, this is a mess as well. God damn it, this empire management thing. Uh, okay, one, one stronghold's okay. Uh, we have much crime. We have so much crime. Uh, oh, I can't replace that. Oh, because the build queues. Oh, we've already done that. Oh, shit. Hang on. Uh, replacing with precinct houses, luxury precinct houses. Yeah, I don't need two of them. Hang on. Um, oh, shit. Too late now. Hang on. Uh, one of these I can stop, surely. That one. There we go. Ah, what else we got? Unity, alloys. I don't know. Energy grid? I don't know. I'll make it up as a go. Yeah, I was going to say, this is the hard bit, actually, actually not having all the uh, things bounced back on you. Okay, we've got the gene modification. That's good. Um, The flesh is weak is still coming along. Okay, so what we got? Uh, the Collective Self. External Leader Pool Size, Officer Capacity, Commander Capacity, Scientist Capacity. Auto Curating Vault. Uh, Unity from Factions. Garrisons, Cybrex Mining Hub. Uh, yeah, lay it on me, Perpetual DM. I'm, I'm not always immediately sure how to, how to deal with immediate unrest. It, it, it bakes my noodle a bit. What do we think this looks as good out of this? I really don't know. I mean, unity from faction sounds fun, because... We've got a bunch of factions, but I don't know. I've got no idea what an auto curating vault does either. Domestic policy? How does that work? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> ah, uh, actually, that's a, that's a blocker. That'll we'll do one for a blocker. That's an idea. The amount of times we've gone, I want to move this, and it's like, no, you can't. Uh, if you have police building, you can build... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um... I think that's why I ended up with so many precincts, is that we we, we kept, um... So maybe on the, all the newly, newly, uh, nobbled places, we should build precincts. Yeah, this has got, like, three forts in it. Okay, hang on a minute. Uh, have I got a precinct di district on the way? Oh, precinct houses, there you go. Yeah, yeah, I got them on the way there. Uh... They've already got one there. That's a colony that they haven't colonized yet. Uh, they've got one there. Uh, did I put one in here? It's a research lab, agriculture, industrial. Yeah, the thing is, when we did the upgrades, we ran out of stuff. Uh, because they require moats. Um, and we ran out, we started running out of moats, and then stuff stopped working, and, uh, it was a bit of a disaster. Wow, these have, this has no, this has, okay, yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let that one brew for a bit. Ah! It is a mess. It is, an, it is an ongoing mess. Right, come on. I want to I get over here and nick this planet. That'd be great. Ah! Oh well. That was easy. 
We've restored order. That's one fixed. And immediately the stability goes back down again, because of course it did. This is fine. Oh, are we, are, we, are we getting there? We're nearly there for arse kicking time. Right. How many... Can we reactivate? Nope, that's not active. I thought we got a disembodied head. So, I mean, what do we do? Do we just dangle the disembodied out the head in the vague direction of the bird people and they just send us more ships? Is that is that why I'm understanding what happens? That's kind of funny. They're like, birds! <laughs> we have this head! And they're like, yes, we will join you. It's kind of weird. I mean, there's lots of things in this game that are kind of weird, but it's probably one of the weirdest things I've seen so far. Okay, what's our what's our might here? Uh, They're twenty really something? Animated. Not enough. Need more. Need more. Use the head as a ventriloquist dummy. That's 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 a possibility. Okay, we're nearly there. Because this is a big fleet, and I don't know if we take one of these guys to come and have a go at us. These two aren't so bad. That one's relatively chonk, but this is the biggest one. So if we take that one out first. Uh, we should be okay. Uh, who's that? That's the Ethereans. Oh, can we bribe the Jackley? Wait, we got to try to bribe the Jackley. I forgot about this. Hang on. Uh, Jackley, Jackley, Jackley. Right, Form Federation. Okay. So it says minus 17, right? But we can call in 25 points of favours. So does that mean we can form a Federation with them? By calling in all the favors all at once that's really funny right okay let's see how this works the slug hamster union is about to be formed <laughs> this is probably a very bad idea this is probably a very very bad idea oh god okay form federation types dictate what the focus of the federation will be each Federation type has unique starting perks and laws, and will unlock more perks as it gains XP. Oh my god, we've just unlocked another menu! <laughs> oh, crikey. Okay, right, so what do we got here? Form a Federation. Form a Federation with this Empire. Once established, we can try to invite other Empires to join it. Join it. Their trust of us will increase by one another 150. Right, so we've got Galactic Union. Members of this federation united in readiness to cooperate. Together they will deal with whatever problems may arise. Research Cooperative. Marshall Alliance. Hegemony. Huh. Random name really is a random name. Leave it as a random name, Union. <laughs> Welcome to another wing. The bird has many wings. I think Marshall Alliance would be a good one. Uh, right. Oh god, what should we call? What should we call this? Uh. Oh, hang on. Uh, what's this? Is this the amount of what? What is what is this? Oh, number of favors. Right. So. Oh wait, hang on. We don't actually need to call in the favours. They're actually accepting this off the bat. Uh, or should we just up this a little bit? We've got like five favours to call in. Let's call in three of them and make, make sure that we absolutely dial it in. Uh, what does Hegemony do? Okay. Uh, Federations of this type are built around powerful empires surrounded by lesser satellite states. Members cannot freely leave the Federation without the President's approval. If the President refuses, the member gets a secession, casts a spell, I to leave the Federation. That doesn't sound good. That that oh, they don't like that idea. No. Um They like Marshall Alliance. They don't want a research cooperative. And they don't want a Galactic Union. Marshall Alliance seems to be the, the way to go. But we could save a favour there. We could we could have three favours left and that's that's fine. Uh, they don't want it. They they don't want it. I mean, I could I could make them want it, so to speak. 
but I don't think they have any research that we don't already have. I'm gonna go with Martial Alliance. That that works, I think. The Hamjaklian Concordat. Uh, actually, sounds quite. That, that's an idea. I think Martial Alliance is the way to go. I don't think they have any attack that we don't already have. I like it. The Ham Jackson on for that. A Martial Alliance. Other empires might join uh, if that influences your name. Um, I imagine we can probably change it later, can't we? I think in virtually everything in this game, you can you can uh, rename later on. I think. Yeah, but I think you can rename virtually anything in this. It does say the research is superior, though. Ooh, now you got me thinking. It does say their technology level is superior to mine. Oh, no. Free and automatic research agreements between all Federation members. Okay, that's... Hmm. Watch out for if you add other empires, they can vote you out, so be very careful who you invite into the alliance. Okay. What do research agreements do, though? That won't let necessarily let us get more technology, though, will it? We have to call in all our favours. Makes research they have cheaper to research. Oh, nice! Okay! That's cool. Um, Yeah, let's go. Actually, yeah, let's go with that. Because their research is better than ours. Okay, cool. Let's do that. The Ham Jacqueline can call it out. Oh, my God. Sure! Okay, they're, they're, they're looking over my proposal. This is where they say, nope. Agree, analyze. I've called in all the favors I possibly could. Federation formed. I am a president. I am the president of the Hamjaklian Concordat. <laughs> Get off my lawn! Oh my word! What a what a tag team! What? Stop! 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 Game! Stop! I'm busy. I'm basking in my glory. Right. Uh, let history record on, on this day the governments, the Hamsterian Conclave, and the Entheric Dynastic Union. I actually forgot we had the Insect People as well. Signed a Treaty of Federation. I totally forgot about these guys. As founding members of the Hamjaklian Concordat. Wait, hang on. The Entheric Dynastic Union? I thought it was the Jackley I was talking to. Uh, did I fuck that up? I thought it was the Jackley we were talking to. No, the Jackley are the slugs. Oh, no, that is there. Oh, God, hang on a minute. Jackley consciousness wishes to give the Anthurian Dynastic Union association status within the Federation. Okay, this is, this is just, ah, uh, many things. Okay. This is fine. Right, so immediately, the Jackley Consciousness would give the Anthurian Dynastic Union association status in the Federation. That's fine, because they like us. That's that's okay. Okay. Oh god. Right. Uh so that's fine. Okay, let's let's let that spin on for a bit. Are we good? Have we have we done the thing? Okay, Federation Association Offer, Jackley Consciousness, the Anthurian Dynastic Union, uh, Association Status, okay. Research Cooperative, Federation Level 1. Ham Jacklian sounds like a sandwich. It does a little bit, doesn't it? Okay. Uh now what? Do I have a... Oh, I do have a screen for this. Oh, here we go. Right. Uh, we don't have an awful lot of cohesion with these people. We have minus 100 cohesion. 
Oh no! <laughs> I don't think they're like. I don't think they like us. I don't think they like us very much. Select a leader. Uh oh yeah. Uh well the oracle's busy. Um. All your envoys need to be pumping this up. Okay, we can reassign them, so that's fine. Galactic Emissary. Uh, that's not this. That's the Galactic Emissary. Um, the Oracle is, is, is working on the Great Wheel at the moment. Put your envoys into the Federation. Okay, that's, that's definitely an idea. Let's, let's say, I don't know, uh... I mean, really, you should probably put the Oracle in there, but I think they... They're doing well where they are. We got Gab, daughter of... I don't know. Yeah, okay, let's just pick one. Oh, wait. They, they're a xenophobe. Why have I got a xenophobe as my... Wait, what? I think I've discovered... No, 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 shit. That's not what I wanted to do at all. Fuck, 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 fuck. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, no, no. Change the delegate. I think I've just noticed why we've ended up with a bunch of, um... Xenophobic factions. I've accidentally hired a xenophobe. Uh, that's quite funny. I should probably fire him. <laughs> this this makes a lot of sense. Uh, I didn't notice that. Oh, 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 oh. Guys, I've made a slight oopsie. So there's another, ze that's one xenophobe. There's another xenophobe there. This is why the this is why the xenophobe ethics is turning up. <laughs> yes, but it explains why I keep getting the bastards. Uh, so I probably should ditch some of those guys because <laughs> you don't want a xenophobe in 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 charge of all that. Oh my god! Right. Okay. We need to we need to we need to do some hiring and firing here. Okay. So let's go through officials here. Right, yeah. Uh so you need to go. Can we can we dismiss him? The other way around, you have a faction pumping xenophobia into your empire. Yeah, but I would have thought having a having a having a xenophobe in charge of things because look, if if he's in charge of something, it starts it starts moving the sector and the and the planetary government stuff towards towards it. So I think we should dismiss these guys. We've, we've got we've got plenty of, uh, we've got plenty of other things to hire up. Yeah, that's what I think is happening. This makes sense now. Did not notice this. Right, commanders. Xenophile, 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 no, that's fine. Scientists. Uh, yeah, I got another Xenophobe there. And another Xenophobe there. Right, did not notice this before. Oh, I think I just broke something as well, because it just the game just yelled at me. Um, okay, recruitable leaders external. Uh, Blabbermouth. Uh, yeah. Midizak. Midizak? What a name. Where have you? This makes sense now. Questionable assertion. Yeah, that's fair. Right, I need to find the oopsie science ship because I... <laughs> I read that wrong. I thought this guy's name was Climax. It's not, it's Cymax, but I legitimately thought his name was Climax. That that would have been funny. <gasps> oh, there's a slug person. Uh scientist effects. 
Yeah, let's have Rob build tech. Put him in charge of a science ship. Why not? Uh, thank you for the hydrates. Why are they all kicking their legs up so high when they walk? It's from the Ministry of City Walks. No, wait, hang on. Okay. Um. Oh god, I've got a piggy person. What does a piggy person do? Uh, that's counselor. Uh, that's science effects. Everyone's militarist. This is fine. Right. Okay. This could have solved a few problems. Right. Where is the oopsie ship? Uh, because I just decrewed it. I didn't mean to. Um. There we go. Uh, science ship. Uh, that doesn't have anyone in charge of it either. Uh, there we go. And that one's not doing anything anyway, so that's fine. Right, let's try that again. Uh, wait, what? Assign an emissary. You need to be a member of the Ham Jacklian Concordat to assign a representative. Wait, I'm not a representative anymore? What? This uh, is the Federation members screen. Here why can't can I select a leader? Our members are in various areas, how many envoys they are contributing. And which of their ethics are conflicting and contributing to a loss of cohesion? I don't think I did. No, I, I, I didn't. Oh, yes, I did. No, hang on. I'm so confused. Maybe spin the clock a day or two. Oh, yeah, there you go. You are correct. Right. Uh... So what do we got? Official. Um, uh, Medizak. Let's have Medizak. He sounds fun. He's a xenophile. There you go, that works. There we go, that's better. Aren't your envoys gaining favor with the Jack Lee? Uh, might be. I probably, I've probably messed everything up. Yeah, I have messed everything up. Oh god. Um... Right, hang on a minute. What's he doing? Is he busy? Oh no, he can be a leader, that's fine. Uh, that's science. That's science. That's science. That's planet. That's... Okay, none of these have any bonuses for... anything related to that, so we'll just stick them there. Right, oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Right. Are we good now? Right, Medizak is now there. That's good. Good. Right, that is now zero. That's good. Okay, so what's going on now? So we've got members. Uh, the Hamsterian Conclave, the Jackley Consciousness. The Federation Navy is built from Navy capacity given up by all members and is controlled by the President. We can have Members fleets. Can build Federation Navy ships to contribute to the fleet. That's quite funny. <laughs> we can have our own fleets. Uh, laws. laws can be proposed by any member. Oh God! If the Federation fails to pass a law, the Federation will suffer a cohesion penalty. Some laws are locked and require increasing the centralization to unlock them. Okay. Good. This isn't terrifying at all. Um, uh, we still have. Wait, really? We still haven't done the Flesh's Week. We must be close. Uh, twenty months. I think. Do we think that's worth hanging on until? Uh, it's twenty months. Um. Oh, we've got the. the we we can, we can carry on for a bit. That's fine. Control the Federation fleet will flip flop between members. Ah, okay. Hang on. Wait, wait, wait for the cybernetics thing to turn up. 
The Assimilation Citizenship Species Right, allowing future additions to the populace to be turned into cyborgs! <laughs> oh god. Oh well. Okay. Uh, that sounds like a fun time. Oh, XP. Uh, we are losing Federation XP. Uh, why? Federation experience increases as the Federation remains unifying because we're divided, I'm guessing. Is this is this why? Was this a bad idea? Um, I think we were going to cyborg ourselves because it largely because it's funny. That's the only reason. Okay, we have a we have a slight problem. We're actually losing XP. That's bad. Because the Jackley consciousness is not actually contributing. Why are they not contributing? Oh god. Is it because they don't share similar things with us? I don't know. Oh, you start at minus eight. Oh, okay. Ugh. Right, stuff is happening here. What's happened? <clears throat> uh, oh god. Minor administrative sanctions. It seems harder now. Oh, okay. Oh, it's now based on leaders and leader level. Okay. Uh, I don't think we can fight this because we've got 7.7 .7 and they... Well, mind you, the Jackley... What the... Wait, what are the Jackley doing? Are the Jackley in there? No. So if I oppose that, does that mean... Breach of galactic law. Wait, you guys have... Oh, no, you're still around. Uh, must be... Oh, okay. Well, galactic law hasn't popped up yet, so I don't know. Uh, comfort the fallen. What does comfort the fallen do? I can't remember. Unemployed workers have their unhappiness penalty reduced by 10%. No, that's really good. I'm okay with that. I want to keep it. The only person who wants it is the Jackley. That's quite funny. That's, that's not going to work, but it's fine. Who knows? Oh god, uh, scum and villainy on the Great Wheelie. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, that's because we haven't touched this planet in... ever. That's why. <laughs> uh, probably want to build a precinct here, but I imagine. Uh, nope, that's a research lab. That is not what I want to build. That's what I want to build. Unsurprisingly, they're not very happy. Passing that bill is making you a criminal. Uh, repeal Comfort the Fallen. Artificial life is still life. Uh, I can't remember. What is this one? Unemployed workers, the orc one. Uh, empires that have been denounced or are in breach of galactic law have penalties applied to them. And it says, modifiers, one must be true. The Hamsterian Conclave is in breach of galactic law has the denounced modifier, which we don't have, I think. What does that mean we're in breach? I don't know. I think that's what, that's what happens when you are breaching the law, I think. I, I think. Wait, did we want to repeal the Comfort the Fallen? Wait, hang on a minute. I'm getting so confused. No, we don't want to repeal Comfort the Fallen. I'm an idiot. Hang on a minute. Oh god, I'm opposing my own people. Great. They probably won't be very happy about that. Right, anyway. I think we're good. Oh my god. Brains. Okay. Uh, yay! Research complete. We have a we have a galactic union of stuff and things and slugs and people.
Right, okay. Uh, Xeno Hydraulic Mastery, Noxious Swamp. Uh, Cybrex Mining Hub. Oh god, I don't know. Oh, Ship Firing Rate. Command Matrix. Ship Firing Rate sounds good. Let's go with that. Screw it. Right, are we there yet? Are we there yet? No, we're not there yet. It's going to take a while. Oh god, I think all my colonies are in absolute uproar at the moment. Oh yes, all, all the new ones are in uproar. Oh, uh, that's got a blocker I could have dealt with, actually. Which I didn't realise. Uh, massive glacier. Yep, yeah, get rid of that. Uh, repairs completed. Cool. Oh, yes, hang on. <laughs> we were gonna, we were gonna kick these guys' asses. Right, what, how much have I got here? Uh, 30... Right, how many of these can I merge, actually? None of them. Okay, that's fine. Right, they've got... Alright, 4, 8, 12... something. We've got... 20, 30... Right, we're massively outnumbering them, so let's go and kick their asses. I might save. Okay. This should be short. Should be. If they actually get there, ever. Probably because it's an enormous fleet. Hostile fleet oh, of engaged. course, they turned up it. They turned. Oh, no, no, there we go. That's better. That's better. I thought, Jesus Christ, they all turned up individually. But they didn't. That's fine. I think, I think we killed them. <laughs> it's just, yeah, uh, I think we got them, lads. I think we got them. Uh, established. Okay, I think, uh, if I can find a spare, spare science ship, we could hoover up what was going on there, actually. Where are you? Uh, miles away, apparently. Oh, you really are miles away. I was kidding. Um. Oh God, no! Hang on, you're doing stuff up here. No, uh, d d ignore me. Ignore me. I'm telling you to do stupid things. There we go. Yes, go go survey that. Right. Where's the next nearest one that isn't doing anything? Uh, the Eldritch Oopsie ship. Um. Uh, wait, what? Where are you? Oh, you're right there. <laughs> that would be that would be a good idea. There we go. I don't know if they had anything interesting, but you never know. Medium cutting lasers. Oh well. Right. So it turns out these guys won't make a move until you make a move first. So uh, that kind of works. Uh, unclaimed system. Oh, we actually best claim the system as well. There's no idea. This is mine. Which gives us a nice little toehold here as well, which is good. Uh, yeah, that's that's still going down. Uh... Planet in revolt. Ah, revolt brewing on Suprag Colony, except apparently I've already headed it off at the pass. Uh, where is Suprag? <laughs> I keep pronouncing that as Suprag. We, 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 we sorted out the rebellion before it even started. Look, it's fine. <laughs> Handled. Didn't happen. Nobody saw it. What's this? Favor gained. Oh yeah. Okay. Hang on a minute. I just realised. Uh, We've got three people improving the relations with with the um uh the 
hive mind. And what's happening is, as we're doing that, we're getting favors due to that special skill we've got. Uh, so we just keep on calling in favors, uh, which is kind of funny. Two free guy worlds from Zircon's head. Yeah, I know. And all it would take is is smashing. Uh, oh, hang on. Saiban High Kingdom, aren't they? They're part of the bloody. Um... Yes, they're a vassal of that lot. Everyone's a militarist. It's it's insane. Right. Okay. Okay, it has gone 8 o'clock. Uh, my brain is on the verge of meltdown, uh, so we're going to call things to a halt there. So let's do the things. Double check, I've saved that. I'm sure I had. Yep, brain EP. That was just now. Okay, there we go. So let's go to the ending screen. Have a look, see what's going on. Thank you all very much for being part of the stream. I have a funny feeling my... Oh no, there's my end credits. Good lord, here they come. Thank god for that. Um, uh, thank you very much, uh, Donald B. Shaw and Jordan Millie for the follows. Much appreciated. Thank you, very kind. Uh, thank you everyone else for being part of the stream and uh, giving advice and uh, joining in with the hilarity. Um, I'll be back tomorrow over on YouTube, uh, which uh, I'll be doing... Uh, the Helldivers 2 Chaos Collab. Have I actually got my thing sorted out there? Can I suggest Yog Dog? You certainly can! Um, and so yes, join us for that, and I'll be back with some more Stellaris on Wednesday. So since Bamboozle has done the thing, uh, we're gonna go raid Yog Dog. Um, so let's get that underway. I don't know what my link is for YouTube. Hang on a minute, I think you can find it. You can find my loot. Well, let's face it, it's YouTube Hamster of Wrath, and the link will be in the links there, so uh, you should be able to find it. If not, go and watch one of the other glorious people uh, play, being part of the uh, Chaos Collab for tomorrow. So, oh, Leo Dog's doing some Helldivers. Why not? That's a complete change of pace. Let's do that. <laughs> okay, right. Let's grab uh, Yog Dog's uh, channel link there. Let's put it in there. Right, please be kind when you raid. Um, take care of yourselves, and I shall catch you next time around. Bye-bye.